This is probably the best final that we could ask for. One of the greatest junior lines ever put together against Chase Marchand and the Rouen Miranda defense. All eyes now are on Sunday's matchup against the London Knights. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the NMAX Centrium. Bon après-midi, mesdames et messieurs. Bienvenue au NMAX Centrium. The Canadian Hockey League, in association with your Red Deer Rebels, are proud to welcome you to the final game of the 2016 MasterCard Memorial Cup. La Ligue canadienne de hockey, en association avec vos Rebels de Red Deer, vous souhaite la bienvenue à la finale de la Coupe Memorial MasterCard 2016. Fans, please welcome to Center Ice our official party for today's ceremonial face-off. Chers partisans, accueillons ensemble au centre de la glace nos invités officiels pour la mise au jeu protocolaire d'aujourd'hui. Representing the Canadian Hockey League, CHL President and OHL Commissioner. Representant la Ligue canadienne de hockey, le président de la LCH et commissaire de la Ligue de l'Ontario. David Branch. Representing the 2016 Host Organizing Committee. Representant le comité organisateur 2016. Co-chairs. Les co-présidents du comité. Merrick Sutter and Ron Lurivier. Representing Representant. Mastercard, Head of Marketing, Mastercard Canada. Directeur du marketing, Mastercard Canada. Milos Vernesevic. Representing the Canadian Armed Forces. Representant les Forces Armées Canadiennes. Brigadier General. Brigadier General. David Lothian. A product of Central Alberta, he won three Memorial Cup championships with the Kamloops Blazers. Un produit de l'Alberta, il a remporté trois championnats de la Coupe Memorial avec les Blazers de Kamloops. As well as a gold medal with Canada at the 1995 World Junior Hockey Championships right here in Red Deer, and he went on to play 13 seasons in the NHL. Medaille d'or avec l'équipe Canada Junior en 1995, alors que le tournoi fut présenté à Red Deer. Il a joué 13 saisons dans la Ligue nationale de hockey. Accueillons ensemble un des 50 meilleurs joueurs de tous les temps de la Ligue de l'Ouest. Please welcome one of the WHL's top 50 players of all time, Darcy Tucker. We now ask that the captains please join our official party for today's ceremonial face-off. Nous demandons maintenant aux deux capitaines de bien vouloir se joindre à nos invités officiels au centre de l'Atlas pour la mise au jeu protocolaire d'aujourd'hui. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the colors for today's anthem is the Canadian Armed Forces Flag Party. Mesdames et messieurs, pour présenter l'hymne national cet après-midi, voici la garde des drapeaux des Forces Armées Canadiennes. Please rise and join us in the singing of our national anthem as performed today by Royal Canadian Air Force Honorary Colonel Lorena McKinnett. Merci de bien vouloir vous lever et vous joindre à nous pour l'hymne national interprété aujourd'hui par la Colonel Honoraire de l'Aviation Royale Canadienne, Lorena McKinnett.
There may not be a Western Hockey League team here in the 98th edition of the MasterCard Memorial Cup final game, but this building, the NMAX Centrium, is packed. It is standing room only. It's the London Knights facing off against the Rouen Miranda Huskies. Damien. Well, I think if, we're, if the London Knights do have some rust from those few days off, we're going to see it right off the hop. The opportunity is there for Rouen Miranda to get the jump on the Knights. No one else has been able to do that in this tournament. We've seen London start slow in this tournament. Patient starts for them, and we've seen the Huskies, as you said, Damien, Start aggressively. We'll look for that in the first period. One game, one and done. One team's going to take it. Execution off the start. Who gets that first one, Jeff? Colby knows what this one feels like. The moment before puck drop. He was there in 2001. We're here in 2016 with the call. Sam Cosentino and RJ Broadhead. Ruan Miranda in London. Each played over 90 games. They won over 70 times. Both have already captured their league championship. But it comes down to one game to complete the task set forth nine months ago. One of these teams will become the MasterCard Memorial Cup champions. The visiting team for the championship game are the Ruan Noranda Huskies. And their goalie is a good one playing in his last game of junior hockey. It's Chase Marchand from Upper Tintilla, Nova Scotia. He had the best goals against in the QMJHL in the regular season. His numbers in the playoffs were minuscule. He set all kinds of QMJHL playoff records. And he allowed one goal on 37 shots in the semifinal. There's Tyler Parsons. He's draft eligible, 18-year-old from Chesterfield, Michigan. He has been the goalie of record in all 16 wins for the Knights and one time. In his last 10 games, has he allowed more than two goals against? It's the Knights' offense that gets talked about, but they're very stingy defensively, too. The Rouen Noranda Huskies, number one ranked team in the Canadian Hockey League. The Knights were the number three ranked team. And we're underway. Winner of this one becomes the MasterCard Memorial Cup champions. London Knights quickly get it into the Huskies' end. Huskies with their big line out there. Francis Perron, Jean-Christophe Baudin, Timo Meyer. Puck knocked right back into the Huskies end. That'll go on Marchand, and he'll leave it there for Philip Myers. He's a Philadelphia prospect. He was a first-team all-star defenseman in the QMJHL. And the Knights are giving him lots of time back there. Made that long pass to Timo Meyer. He tried to touch it over. Huskies are working hard just to keep this puck in. Perron from his knees. Poked it to Timo Meyer. Now Brandon Crawley making sure they can't get to the net that time. But Perron stolen it back for Rouen Miranda. Nicola Brouillard, the defenseman, spins and fires. Got it to the side of the net. Jacob Graves brought it to the corner. Knights just wrap it around, and that will come out to center ice. Here's Jacob Graves, overage defenseman. He's rugged. Barry Native, warm-ups. Aaron Barisha, a fellow 20-year-old, was shooting pucks off his shin pads. He's known for his defense, but he's just turned the puck over. Now the Huskies are going to try to make something happen with the top line of the Knights on the ice. And here they come, a three-on-two developing. Pass behind Mitch Marner, but he got to it and then fired it wide. This will go all the way around, back out to center. Another Leafs prospect has it. Martin Zertals, and he tests Tyler Parsons. And no problem there for the Knights goalie. This gets to the line, it got outside. Parsons has plenty of time to play it. Huskies have to regroup. It's funny, Dale Hunter said to us yesterday, the first 10 minutes will probably be a feeling out period, and it looks very much that way here, at least through the first two minutes. Chris Martin, Ed, he came in after he dumped the puck here. Not known for his points. That means Arab Borussia had to cover up for his defenseman. He's back there, Parsons tried to play. Julian Mantel, Avalanche prospect. He couldn't center the puck. Matthew Kachuk to his right is Aaron Barisha. And 45 goals for Barisha. The overager grabbed the inside-outside move. But he didn't fool the rookie, Zachary Lozon. Antoine Wakeit, he's got a couple of points at this Master Card Memorial Cup, both on the power play. And Max Jones comes barreling in. He takes a shot. Marshan got a piece of it. He got enough of it to keep it out. It Trickled through him, though. Fortin moves it over to an open side. Nobody there for the Huskies. Bank back to center ice. Aaron Barisha falls down. Second effort. Got it just as far as the Huskies' blue line. And Zachary Lozon takes a couple of hits as he dumped it in. Always takes a chance or two to get things going. And we've seen one here from London. I think teams are going to start to 
fast as both teams start to settle into their games now. Brent Poole, a burst of speed to the outside. He centered it. Huskies had all come back in front of their net. Now they're trying to turn and go the other way. What a good defensive play by Brandon Crowley. He poked it away from Perron. And the Knights are back on offense. C.J. Yakubovic, he's behind the net against Nikola Bruja. Yakubovic is a St. Louis prospect. Myers gets knocked down. Trying to get a shot is Pikinich. He fired, but it was off his stick and goes out of play. Well, both teams transitioning well. There's a lot of speed out in the ice. Look for this to be an up-and-down game at points. Max Jones comes in, curl and drag, but an excellent save by Marchand. He gets just enough of it, and then it deflects off the crossbar. We saw it yesterday. Same thing. Got a little piece off the glove and then off the crossbar two nights ago in the game against Red Deer. So a bit of a scary touch here early on, but Marchand, he's like that. He's not always going to give you a clean look, but on most nights, it's an effective uh, style of play for him. Top line of the Knights back on the ice. They do have the last change. They're the home team after going 3-0 in the round robin. Huskies wound up going 2-2. Two two. That's including their semifinal victory over the Red Deer Rebels to punch their ticket to the championship game. Kachak, he's got an arduous task just to move it ahead to Aiden Jamison. Following Jamison is Mitch Marner, but the Huskies, they've got him marked. He wasn't open. They take the puck. Got it as far as their blue line, and it's Gabriel Fontaine who lost it to Ole Olevi. Mitch Marner quickly gets it ahead. Matthew Kachak getting it across the ice where Marner was coming in. Greer Gold to break that, break that up. Fontaine gathers it in for the Huskies, makes the smart, safe play, just gets it up high near the boards. Nothing up the middle of these knights out there. Kachak dumps it to the corner. Christian Dvorak hits with his man. Philip Myers able to move it forward, and Antoine Wake it gets to center ice and dumps it into the night's end. That's another shift in the books for the top line of the London Knights. So much hype, so much talk about them. But they haven't been able to generate anything in their first two shifts. So you can start crossing off the shifts if you're the Huskies. Take it shift by shift when they're out there. Keep them off the score sheet. Two down. Mantel, he spins and fires. Parsons had an aggressive play with a stick to knock it away, but it came hard off the glass. And now Max Jones, look at him fly. Jones in, and he's stopped by Marchand. Max Jones, what a burst of speed that was. And he tests the Huskies goaltender again. Oh, you have to be so careful. And Myers is an excellent skater in his own right. And he just gets caught flat-footed for that one little stumble right at the blue line. Forget it. Max Jones is gone. Shot like he was out of a can. And tries to go to the backhand. But Marchand has foiled him now twice in this game. And Jones creating using that great speed. You have to love the skill. You have to love the speed that these two hockey clubs bring to the table. And Marchand has had to be sharp here early on. It's been two Max Jones shots, and he stopped them both. Jones is the only knight with a shot on goal. They've been tough saves. Jacob Nabu off the face off it's up to center ice that's behind the dangerous Timo Meyer but he no, still no, got no. it and moved it into the night check he'll come in on the four check against Brandon Crawley JJ Pickenich he's a lead pick too that's off a stick goes up high to the far blue line Owen McDonald spins away from Lozar. Short pass to Yankimovic. And Pikinich was knocked down. He couldn't get to the puck. Graves is down there for the Knights and put it right through a maze of players. Crowley shot his block. Now Graves again will circle the net. His pass. Cross ice. Yankimovic was yelling. He had his stick in the air, but he couldn't shoot from that sharp angle. Huskies pick it up and they'll lift it up over everybody just to get the puck out. That's the captain Perron. That's the type of game he has. He's a responsible two-way player. And when he sees his defenseman reeling, he's back there to help the support. He ends up getting the clear that eventually leads to this Rouen line change. Jeremy Lozon ahead to A.J. Greer. Fontaine battling his way into the Knights end. Not a lot of room to work. Knights break it up. They get it to the blue line. Don't get it out, though. Greer wraps it around. Fontaine reaches for it. Zerkals, he's bumped by Dvorak, leaves it in the corner for Greer, but Yo Levy was with him, strike for strike. Zerkals to the blue line, out of the reach of Kara, and Marner will head back to try to make things difficult for the defense. 
And Lozon turns it over. It's in front to Kachuk. Just like that, there's the Borak with a chance. Puck still loose. It doesn't take much for this line of the Knights to get a scoring chance. One little mistake, and boom, it's on net. And the Huskies tried to answer back, but they're offside. The Huskies and the Knights. It's the MasterCard Memorial Cup Championship game. Red Deer the site for the 98th MasterCard Memorial Cup. Through and Miranda Huskies, QMJHL champs. They captured the President Cup London Knights OHL champs. They lost Robertson trophy winners. And this is it. The winner. It's the MasterCard Memorial Cup. Played almost seven minutes of this first period. There's been a handful of shots on goal. Max Jones has been the guy that's been testing Chase Marchand. He's back out there, number 49. Michigan made it twice to center. There's Borussia from a sharp angle. The short side was covered by Marchand. And this is what makes the Knights dangerous. Everybody talks about the top line, but there's a little depth, too. Let's pull back to the blue line. Chris Martinette snaps a shot right on. There was a rebound. It was cleared quickly by Philip Myers before Jones could get to it. Knights with their second line out there, although there is a competition to which one is the second line. Jones centers it, tried to get it himself. Got a centering attempt. Jones in the corner, takes a hit. Finally, the Huskies have it. In a long shift, they spent the fending. Parsons knew for Tang's behind him, so he advanced the puck a bit. Who saw the hit? Banked it off the boards just to make sure that got near the Huskies' line. All by himself is Antoine Waken. And Yakimovitz didn't let him make a play. J.J. Pikovic, he's got to be careful. That's Timo Meyer down there. Meyer tied for the points lead with seven on the Huskies. He's tied with his captain, Francis Paul. Paul's getting all the assists. Meyer's getting all the goals. And it's good for Francis to get on the board of the goal in that semifinal game against Red Bear. You know, he played well, but Joe Bouchard said we really need him to score. He's had a couple of good chances. Gets off the snide. That should give him confidence in this game. Oh, hey, head to Perlar. There's a good move by the captain. He drops it off over to Meyer. Then goes to the front of the net. And Meyer has a great shot, but he couldn't get that one on target. Yakimovitz, he's down there with a sea of Huskies into the corner. Bodin able to advance it past him, and Yakimovitz has to be lined for the bench now to get a change. A.J. Greer, he was on a solo mission. Tried to dump it in, Knights intercept. Quickly up the center, it's double rank. Hands it to Crawley. Marchand comes out, he can't stop it behind his neck. Nicola Brouillard chips it ahead. Greer might get a chance here, he's coming in. Left wing side, Greer tried to pass. It was broken up, and then following up was Fontaine, but Parsons got there in time. Two on one nights, Dvorak to Marner, back to Dvorak, back to Marner. Oh, and that just trickled wide. What passing by the Knights. They still have it in the Huskies' end. Yo, Levy, long shot. That's redirected right on. Magnificent save by Marchand. Gabriel Fontaine calms things down for the Huskies. Drops it off for Brouillard. A hard shot. It's caught by Parsons. That's more like it, gentlemen. This thing really starting to roll now, and these two teams are just so good with speed through the zone. You have to really respect them. London's done a nice job here at the blue line. On this particular occasion, Crawley, after making a good play at the line, dives back and takes a two-on-one away. And then here, Marner gets a golden opportunity and it goes off the pad of Marchand and wide, and then Parsons has to come to the fore with a good glove save. Brouillard had stepped up as the trailer and took a good wrist shot. Both goalies really sharp here early on, and again for Marchand, it hasn't been exactly clean. There's puck slipping over him by him. He's getting pieces of him, but he's got the job done to this point. Face off in the night end, and that's a win for Cliff Poole. Max Jones takes a quick peek over his shoulder, saw some pressure coming, didn't get it out. Only Yolevi, the leading defenseman scorer at this MasterCard Memorial Cup. Barisha gets it over to Yolevi. He's got some skating room. Six points, all assists. Tried to center it. This will come right back out the center ice. And now Aiden Jamison backs off. Once his Knights get back on side, they look to be organized here as Jamison gets the feed through center. The defenseman had his stick lifted before he could shoot. Francis Perron. 
Right into the night shade. That was a healthy bounce. Didn't fool Parsons, though. Short pass to Martinet. Now Jamison, who's been out there a while, might be thinking about getting to the bench for a change. And the puck's out. He's starting to make his way over there. And Victor Mete waiting to come on the ice. But Jamison can't get there. Huskies have it right bank in. Meyer doesn't shoot. Tried to center it. That was blocked by the six foot seven frame of Chris Martinet. Knights. Three of them over there trying to get that puck. They don't get it out though. Mantel right back down to the corner. Centering pass. Not to any Husky. So Caron comes up with it. Looks at the blue line that he vacated. Decides to keep the puck in deep. Timo Meyer now trying to get out of that corner so he could shoot. He passes to Fontaine. And there's Parsons. He helped his team out with that save. They were tired. And they'll have a commercial break to rest. It's the MasterCard Memorial Cup on Sportsnet. With Dale Hunter behind the London bench. Coach, is this what you expected to see this early in the game? Yeah, it is. You know, they're both skilled teams and fast teams, and you can see the chances on the rush both ways. Uh, great passes by both teams, and you just got to execute and play a bit net sharper defensively. Are you what, surprised at the fact they're really trying to force you in your own zone? What's that? Yeah, yeah, so it's like one of those things where you got to get pucks out on the boards to be good. Thank you very much. Well, you know what? He is still a little relaxed, guys, because just before he did the interview, he wanted to know what the score of the ball game was. <laughs> you know, Dale Hunter is on top of every yes, sport. Yes, he is. Every time we have a chat with him, he knows what's going on. It doesn't matter the sport. Of course, he's on top of hockey, but big baseball fan and anything that's going on. Who's injured, who got fired, who's playing well, who's not. No score. Championship game. MasterCard Memorial Cup. Huskies, they can't make something happen off this faceoff. London gets it to the blue line. This will come out. A.J. Greer is skating well in this game. Had a chance to talk with Alexis Saru. Wound up winning the Scholastic Player of the Year in the CHL. He plays with Shawinigan. And that's who Ruan Miranda beat out in the President Cup final. And he said, you know, the Huskies just seem to have somebody step up every game, every series. It was A.J. Greer that got the Shawinigan Cataracts. And he made reference to the semifinal game where Chase Marchand was terrific against Red Deer. And he said, someone else will step up in the championship game. It just always happens for them. Yeah, and that's been the case. And, you know, they're missing Bruno Carl Denny on the back end. They're missing Matthew Boucher, who's an excellent speed PK type of guy. Yet you haven't heard anything from that about Joe Bouchard. He's excited. He's on the bench. That's about the most emotion you'll get out of him. And after 14 years in minor hockey, a couple years in CIS, here he is at the MasterCard Memorial Cup. J.J. Pekinich, Shannon Caron battling for the puck. Pekinich comes up with it. He's blocked along the boards, and the Huskies get it up. Here comes Francis Perron. Now the Huskies are catching up. He took a shot against the Myers, but it was bouncing, and Timo Myers didn't shoot. Perron left it behind the net. Graves comes up with it, makes a short pass. It's a good one to the center iceman, Owen McDonald. Brandon Crawley made the move at the blue line and put his teammates offside. You know, I looked at the starting lineup, and it was the Timo Meyer line, the top line for Ruan Miranda, up against the Owen McDonald line. You'd think you'd go with the Marner line to start, but Dale Hunter didn't want that. I think he wants McDonald, Yakimovich out there against Timo Meyer because they can feel they can throw him off this game. Doing that, playing physically against them. Even at the end of the play, Meyer wants to get a little avenge, sticks his rear end out, but Owen McDonald was keen to what was going on, delivers a cross check. You'll see that matchup here most of the night to try and get Meyer off kilter. And London has not been top line heavy either to start this game. Getting all three lines going. And Aaron Barisha got a good chance. Alexander Fortin goes in front of his own net. He had good speed and he got it into the night end. He's right on the heels of Martinet. There's the pass over to Victor Mette. Mette's from Woodbridge. Passes to the left wing side. The defenseman carries on. He's such a good skater. Jones couldn't get him the puck in front of the net. Huskies don't get it out. Marisha has it now. And down low, it's Cliff Poo and Jacob Nabu. Poo dug it loose, but he couldn't tuck it on the short side. Antoine Wake, it makes his way to set. 
Saw Martin Matt in front of him. It was time for a change anyway, so he dumped it in. A good angle at the scoop by Kachuk in the neutral zone. It forced the dump in as opposed to the pass in the middle of the ice. Christian Dvorak, he starts this rush into the Huskies end. Banks it back to the blue line. Jamison doesn't shoot at the net. Kachuk was down low. Find the power in front. Yolevi was hovering around, and it's sent out where A.J. Greer can retrieve it. From a sharp angle, it's stopped by Parsons. Oh, a big hit down there. And a penalty coming up. Jamison took the hit. A boarding call coming up, and it's going to be the Knights going to the power play. And that's a dangerous proposition for Rouen Naranda. Well, Fontaine goes in, good speed. He's in on the four check. Jamison is there. Greer's got speed as he takes it to the net. And you'll see Fontaine come down right here. And it looks like a shoulder to shoulder check to me. The puck was definitely within the vicinity as Jamison had just barely had it off the stick. Nothing high to the head. Didn't look too dangerous to me at any way. Fontaine goes to the penalty box. This London power play in each of the three games it's played previously has led off with a power play, which has led to a power play goal, which has led to the lead. And Ruan Naranda will want to kill that trend with this pa uh, penalty kill. Nine for 20. The power play for the Knights at this Master Card Memorial Cup. The check is out there. Picking it. He was a 30 goal scorer. The ball back to the blue line to Yolevi. Yolevi, the lone defenseman. The ball rack. The check. Picking it. What a save, Marchand. And he covers it up. He has been on top of his game in this one. Well, it's that excellent puck movement. You really have to do a good job if you're in goal of tracking the puck, looking through screens, finding it. Kachuk is so dangerous down there. He has the option to take it to the net, but also get it to the slot and pick it. He's got a dynamite release, a good shot. You see the space open up when everyone draws towards Kachuk. He dishes it off, and a great save there by Marchand. Face-off wing for Dvorak. Over 60% in the face-off circle during the season. Dvorak. Tried to get it back to the blue line. That didn't work. So now down to Kachuk. He put it in front of the net. And nobody could get it for the Knights. That'll give the penalty killers a bit of a reprieve. Pekinich drops it off as he gets inside the line. Kachuk leaves it for Yolevi. Marner's hovering around. Double act takes a look. There's Kachuk. Marner's got it and he missed the net on the one-timer. And it comes out. Knights are getting their chances. Ah! They've been off for five days. And they're off the mark a little bit. That's Marner. Two great chances in this game. And normally it's just easy finishes for him. But maybe the layoff has had an influence. Marner, there's a nice move. Gets it on the stick of Devorak. He knew Marner was right behind him. Great pass to Kachuk. Tried to shoot, but it slid away from him. Then by the time he did, Huskies were in position. Kachuk. Spins with an old look pass. Dvorak reaches for it. Keeps it alive. Borussia couldn't shoot. Now Dvorak reaches and he can't get to it. First to speed from Brouillard. He's going up against Victor Mete. And look at the overage defenseman do his work down there. Brouillard trying to get to the front of the net. Parsons read the play and had his stick down there and knocked it away from Brouillard. Power play winding down. Marner might get another chance. Waiting for some reinforcements. There's Dvorak. Rips this one around the boards. It'll come back to Graves. Crawley. There's Kachak. A quick pass. Dvorak couldn't one time it. Huskies have killed it off. And now they've got a two on two. And Timo Meyer skating well. One hands it to the net. Following up is Fontaine straight out of the penalty box. Collage in to help out. There's some bodies back behind the Knights net. And they can't get anything to the net. Owen McDonald, he was being a menace out there. He couldn't get things going into the Husky zone. Under four minutes to go in the first period. 0-0 zero, zero between the Knights and the Huskies. And the Knights did not score on their power play. They have outshot Ruan Miranda 10-6 in this opening period. And the majority of those 10 shots have been good scoring chances. Chase Marchand has been the story again. Jeremy Lozar, second round pick of the Bruins. He was the fifth leading scorer in the QMJHL among defensemen. Parsons, he played it over to Mente, but Greer scored. Peter Abandonato, the rookie, leaves it for Greer, and his bank end is wide. 
Goes on at the blue line. Can't shoot at the net, but keeps things alive by getting the puck in deep. This is Zertel's for 10, middle of the ice, and he just missed blocker side. Martinette, steady defensive defenseman. He ensured that puck didn't bounce back in front of the Knights' net. Abandonado, he's tough to contain, spinning around, and finally the Knights have it out, and it's Pickenich. He'll be by himself as the Knights' forwards want to change, so does J.J. Pickenich. That was a shift spent defending. Yeah, great, great shift there for the Ram and the Huskies. Getting down low, cycling the puck, a couple of good exchanges, and two good shots directed towards the net. Ole Levy pass up to center ice. He saw Jones was there, but right on his back is Philip Myers. No time for Jones to work. Here's Cliff Poe using that great speed. Cuts to the front of the net. Marchand the save. Puck was loose. The Huskies get it out from that crease area. Marchand's got no stick. Just getting to his feet now. Sticks back in his hand. Everything's A-OK -okay for the Rouen Miranda Huskies. Myers sprints over to keep the puck in. This will go right around. Graves tried to keep the puck moving. He'll have a little bit of time now, so he lifts it up high. That'll go down to Myers at center ice. He's turned it over to Borussia. Jones following up, but they can't connect. Huskies. Bodin. He was tied for 16th in QMJHL scoring, but he hasn't managed a point at this Master Card Memorial Cup. We know he's not 100%, and probably after the tournament, we'll find out how he was gutting it out to suit up for the Huskies in every game here. And the Colorado prospect dealing with some upper body issues and kept him out of three of the five games in the President Cup final. Jeremy Lozon, an aggressive play to keep the puck here. That was the final, final minute and a half of the opening period. The championship game, MasterCard Memorial Cup. Gone over five minutes without a whistle. No goals. 0-0. Zero, zero. Championship game. Defensive. Not a surprise. You don't want to give up too many chances. Both of these teams so skilled. They can take advantage of those opportunities. Both goalies rock solid in the opening period. Nicola Bouillard drops it off for Zerkaus. Zerkaus has one goal at this MasterCard Memorial Cup. It's a game winner in the semifinal. Alexander Fortan can't pass it. Fontaine streaked over and got under 40 seconds to go in the period. Yo Levy just banks it out. Kachak. There's a good head fake. Matthew Kachak had 30 goals in his first OHL season. I think his stick broke on him. He just left it down there. There's time here for the Huskies to make something happen. Get that late goal. Kachuk taps it back to Marner. There's also time for the Knights. Doesn't take them long. Marner comes in over the line, but there were four Huskies there to greet him. Under 10 seconds to go. Myers, he passes. Fortier, Mantel. It's blocked by Victor Mete. Now up to center. Kachuk couldn't get that pass, and that's it. What a period. No goals, but lots of chances and tons of fast-paced action. The great skating Victor Mete got a reputation being for an offensive defenseman last year, but how about on this play? Look how he steps over and steps up so quickly to get the block on what was a dangerous chance, maybe the most dangerous of any of the chances Ruan Naranda had in the first. In their first three games of the MasterCard Memorial Cups, Knights had outscored their opponents 9-0 in the first period. Nothing, nothing here. Back here at the NMAX Century, I'd like to welcome in everyone watching the Blue Jays game this afternoon. 5-3 loss at the hands of the Boston Red Sox. Second period here straight ahead. We're scoreless. Rob Falls with Jeremy Lozon. Jeremy, were there any surprises from what you saw from the London Knights in that first period? I don't think so. We were prepared to play against them, and we keep our uh, game plan, and that's what we did. And it's 0-0, so uh, we're still in the game. You know, they've got the advantage in shots right now. What do you want to do in this period? Just keep that down and chip the box and uh, work to, uh, to outshot them after. Thanks very much. Thank you. Jeremy Lozon, very important part of the Huskies defense. These two guys ready to go with the second period. Here's RJ Broadhead, Sam Cosentino. Shots in that first period were 11 to 6 in favor of the London Knights, but they didn't score a goal, and that's an accomplishment for the Huskies. Only one other period. 
at the National Cog Memorial Cup had the Knights been kept off the score sheet. So the Huskies, they thought if they could play five on five against the Knights, that it would be a better result than they had in the round robin. They did take one penalty, but the Knights' power play was not able to score. There we go. 40 minutes to decide the Master Cup Memorial Cup champion. Will it be the number one ranked Ruan Miranda Huskies? Or will it be the hottest team right now, the London Knights, coming into this one on a 16-game winning streak? And Matthew Kachuk saw that late hit coming and delivered the hit to Zerkals instead of taking it. Well, he took it off the skate, and that essentially put him offside. So Zerkals was going to arrive at about the same time as the puck. And once its whistle was blown, Kachuk says, no, you're not going to blow me up. I think I will repel you just the same way. And Zerkals, the Toronto Maple Leafs draft pick, goes down. Kachuk goes to the bench. And no further harm is exacted. It has been a clear game plan from the Huskies. They want to finish their checks on the top line of the London Knights. Here's Owen McDonald. Puts the puck down to the corner. C.J. Yankimovitz, the Pennsylvania native, is pinned up against the boards by Myers. McDonald stole a puck, but he couldn't shoot. McDonald steals another puck. Can't shoot again. Got it to the front of the net. It's loose. Now he got a stick on it. The puck still loose. And Marchand had it covered long enough to keep it out of the referee's sight so he would blow the whistle. Well, this is really double jeopardy, and Todd talked about it at the intermission. This Owen McDonald line going up against Ruan Naranda's top line, so it's bad enough you already have them pinned in defensively, but you cannot make any mistakes. Bodan turns it over. That allows the sustained pressure in the zone. McDonald gets a second opportunity. Puck's taken off him, and a third chance with the backhand. Marchand is able to follow it, track it, and make the save, but Owen McDonald did pay the price. A great shift there for that checking line. Knights had an edge in the face-offs in that opening period. They were 8-2. to two. There's a face-off win for the Huskies early in the second, so that may have been something they addressed. Julian Nantel was going back to try to negate the icing. He did not get there in time. RJ, you talked about this being foreign territory for Dale Hunter and the London Knights, and you look at what they've done in this tournament versus the Rebels, 13:51 in, then 4:35 against Brandon, 6:06. They've led almost this entire tournament, and they've never looked back. Yet has a team to make the London Knights feel uncomfortable by making them chase the game, by putting them behind. That just hasn't happened yet. Rouen can do that here. Off the face off, Barisha tried to shot. It was blocked by Wicked, and he's thinking offense immediately. Antoine Wicked wasn't given an inch by Chris Martinet, and Martinet still trying to stay with him. They're doing stops and starts along the boards. Wicked finally got it in deep. He centered the puck. Jones knocked it away from Talon. The pool following up, but he can't get it past Talon on his initial try. Now Barisha back to Cliff Poole. Can't pull the trigger. That was Wakeman coming back to tie up his stick. Who gets it again? Now he's bumped by Alan Perron. Behind the net. Jeremy Lozon hooks at the puck. Oli Levy comes in to try to keep things down there for the Knights. Lozon steals in front of his own net. Saucers it up the middle. He saw Alexander Fortan there, but he couldn't touch it, and the Huskies have iced it again. Well, Fortan with that uh, great speed, and when it comes to Fortan, a guy who has really come into his own here. His uncle is J.S. Jaguar. He takes some power skating with some uh, junior players and NHL players during the offseason, and it's very evident that it's worked well for his game. Dvorak Marner Kachuk on the ice now. Against Fortan, Wicked, Nantel. And a couple of those forwards are getting to the bench for the preferred matchup. They want Perron, Abandonado out against these guys. They got to get back in the play. Here comes the top line of the night. Dvorak, he's hit. Kachuk picks up that puck, and he's checked by Abandonado. Kachuk gets it back down low to Dvorak. He didn't have any room to work. That was Perron making sure that the dangerous Christian Dvorak couldn't center it. Mantel to Abandonado. The rookie comes in. He put it off the post. And the rebound cleared by Ole Olevi. Well, how about that? You try to make the top line defend, and it almost turned into a lead for the Huskies. London hasn't trailed a game since game three of the OHL final. That's almost three weeks ago. There's Kachuk behind the net. Passes to Mitch Martin. 
Graves banks off. Now he puts it back down. Walls to Chuck still down there. Trying to muscle Jacob Navarro away. Made a pass to Crowley. Lots of traffic in front. Huskies were able to knock that pass aside. KJ Pickenich comes up with it for London. Crowley back to center. It's right back in the Huskies' head. Jacob Graves, overage defenseman, makes the short pass. Pickenich at his time evaporate. Now a long pass that is icing once again from the Huskies. Peter Abandonado has really become an emotional leader. We've seen him the last two nights uh, here when Ruan has played, yelling and screaming at his guys to get him motivated. Shows great speed here off the backhand. One extra move takes it to the shorthand side and rings a dead square off the post. Parsons got over, didn't leave much space. Abandonado had to be perfect, but he could only draw iron. Yakubovic, he can be bothersome to opponents. He is trying to get things to the front of the net. It was turned over. Zerkanos has the feet moving. Finally came back. He's stolen away from him. That's stolen by Meyer. And that's stopped by Parsons. But the rebound was there. Fontaine just missed. J.J. Pikovic, he takes his time. Now he'll lift it up high. Yakubovic knew the vicinity he was going to. Pikovic has it. Yakubovic going to the net. Philip Myers prevented him from getting there. Timo Myers standing still. Knights have banked off, so he sees lots of skating room. And now the Huskies stream into the Knights' end. That puck gets all the way down to Parsons, and he covers up. The Stanley Cup Final gets underway tomorrow as the San Jose Sharks head to Pittsburgh to take on the Penguins. It all gets underway at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific, on CBC and Rogers Game Center Live. Sidney Crosby, who was last playing when the London Knights won the MasterCard Memorial Cup in 2005, then a member of the Ramuski Oceana, couldn't get over the hump. The Knights ended up winning. And that was their first title under the Hunter regime. First and only. They're trying to add to it. Off the face off, Greer got a high shot. And now in the second period, it's the Huskies getting the better scoring chances. Bodan, then to the center at Parsons, is always alert, got his stick on that. Victor Mete catches it down in his own zone, but there's Huskies on both sides. He was relentless. Knights flip it up high. Close on, knocks it down. Spotted Wicked up at center ice. Parsons leaves it for Victor Mete. He had no time to waste behind his net. Now he's pulling away from A.J. Greer. Mete with a full head of steam. Tried a shot, but Lozon was in a good spot. It went off in the water. Here's Jeremy Lozon, fifth in defenseman scoring in the QMJHL. Second round pick of the Bruins, a physical presence. He started this Huskies charge up the ice. Bodan leaves it in the corner for Greer. Now it's intercepted by the Knights. And here they come, led by Max Jones. One-on-one -on -one against Nicola Bruyard. Tough to beat the overage defenseman in a one-on-one -on -one battle. Aaron Barisha drops it off in the corner. Another penalty coming up. And again, it's going against the Huskies. Well, once Briard eliminated Jones from the play, went down to the ice, and then Greer went over to support it even further. And as Greer went down, he took a shot at Jones. And Jones a little slow getting up from his position down on the end boards. And you can see he's taking a pretty good one in the chops. And Greer, we've seen be in the box on occasion before. There's Jones left side. Now, Briard takes him out. Greer comes over to help support or at least dig the puck out. Once the puck's gone, however, it's that extra shot as Greer goes to the ice, throws it right in his face, not necessary whatsoever in a tight game like this. And you don't want to give the Knights foul plays. They had plenty of opportunities on their last one. Just didn't bear it. See if they're sharper this time. Ole Yolevi. Here's Christian Devorak. The chuck to Pickenich. Tried to one-time it. Yolevi's right there. His shot is blocked by Fontaine. And it's down the ice. Another good block by Navu as well as he skates to the bench. He's been a warrior for the Rouen Miranda Huskies all tournament long and very rarely gets mentioned. Huskies had the second best penalty kill in the QMJHL. Here's Kachak in the corner. Back to Yolevi at the blue line. Moves it over to the far side. He knew there'd be some support there. Pickenich let that one go. It got to the side of the net. Marchand thought he had it covered. It's still loose. Double rack. Kachak. In front to Pickenich. Huskies know that play's coming. They broke it up again. 
Christian Dvorak back to Kachuk. This time he got it to Pickenich. Didn't get the shot through. A second pass at it that just trickled wide. Pickenich wins that puck battle. So it stays in the Huskies end. Dvorak side steps, lows off. It's back in front and this will come outside the line. But it's the long change in the second period. And the Huskies aren't going to get many changed. Perron's exhausted. The bench was not jumping up right away. They tried to hit Abandonado off the bench. It was intercepted and a good shot from Barisha. He's stopped by Marchand. Oh boy, the action starting to heat up with this London power play and Ruen Miranda doing a great job collapsing in the middle of the ice. They're trying to use that side of the post with Kachuk down there and pop a couple of guys. Low slot, high slot. It worked well there to get an opportunity and then Barisha gets a good clean look but Marchand saw it all the way into the glove. The ball acts being perfect in the face-off circle. And that one looked like a Huskies win, but it was a cheat by Abandonado. So in to take it now is Antoine Wakett. And this is won by Dvorak cleanly. Victor Mete onto the stick of Marner. They're not giving him much time to make a play. They're covering Mitch Marner. Dvorak. Took a shot. Barisha trying to get open. Dvorak takes the pass. Mete at the blue line. There's Bonner. Now he looks. But that no luck shot. He's so good at looking the opponents off. There's a great pass and what a save. Marchand came over and he robbed Aaron Barisha with another magnificent stop. Wow, Marchand, isn't that excellent work by the Rouen Miranda Huskies netminder. The goaltender of the year in the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League. Kachuk thinks he's going to go to the long side instead. Comes out to the short side, and Barisha, what a chance he has. But Marchand really did a great job tracking that puck. He was just about to cheat off the post. Gets back quickly, covers it up. Great save by Marchand. He's locked in in this game. 14 seconds to go on the power play. There's a face-off win. Huskies are shorthanded. They might get a chance here. Baudin in the corner. Myers to the fence, then goes to the front of the net. Mantel gets it at the blue line. He takes a low shot. That was just a little off the mark. Penalty now over. Huskies have killed it off, but it wasn't easy. Knights came close again. Still 0-0. Huskies and Knights. The championship is on the line. C.J. Yakimovitz, he got it down there. He knew McDonald was over there. Robert Thomas had Philip Myers step in front of him, and Yakimovitz no. feline it down there to bump Myers before he could clear. Thomas, the 16-year-old, he keeps it down low. Yakimovitz, he's hot on the heels of Myers, finishes his check as expected from C.J. Yakimovitz. Graves, he was able to prevent Greer from getting the pass. Here's Jacob Graves, waits, delays, it was perfect. Knights got back on side. Jones tried to stop and shoot. Huskies came back and defended well. There's the high pass. Fortan was down there. Knights knew it was coming and just banked it up. The Huskies, the President Cup champions in the QMJHL. First time in their franchise history on their 20th anniversary. Graves takes a look up. That's Timo Meyer out there, so he makes sure to get it out. And now Cliff Poo. He's been skating well as usual. He got in. There's Marchand. Another save. He just can't be beat right now. Knights are Pepper and Chase Marchand, but he's keeping them off the scoreboard. Jeremy Loza. Oh, Parsons answers back in the other end. There's a big glove save by Tyler Parsons. These goalies have been just awesome in the championship game. Behind the Huskies bench with Joe Bouchard. Coach, I've noticed how quickly you've been turning from defense to offense with your team. Yes, we did a good job uh, on transition. Uh, today it's very important against them. So we have a good good poise with the puck for the transition. So we have to make sure to keep going. And again, your goaltender is playing very well. Yeah, Chase uh, did a good job. So, uh, so far we have to be patient in the game and uh, respect the structure. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, bye. He's been just a pleasure to talk to all this week. We've known him for a few years now, back when he was with UQTR at the University Cup, but such a, a positive person, and it rubs off on his team. 
Yeah, he said he changed his ways about three or four years ago. He used to be a bit of a hothead when he was coaching midget AAA and said, that doesn't seem to work with today's kids, so I've changed my ways and he's become a much better coach as a result. Here's Matthew Kachuk with a steal. The ball acts on the right side. Martin's heading behind the net, but he can't come up with that putt. Martin Zertel takes a quick look, makes that high clearing. A.J. Greer has to wait for the puck to come off the board. Stavorak knocks him off of it. Victor Mete trying to get back. Zertel speeding in. Snap the shot. Rebound. Parsons came over and stopped that too. Now go on. His opportunity. Parsons is over there now. Oh, wow. Husky trying to get that first goal. What a loft pass this was. It was perfect. Those murder and catch up. And they score. Marner throws it in front. Catch up. Wow, you want to talk about transition. How about the London Knights? Look at Tyler Parsons. He's been amazing in this tournament. Zerkaus takes a bullet off of him, and then he follows up his rebound. Can't get it to go, so back the other way. They flip it high in the air, and this is dangerous. As a defenseman, you don't know whether to rush and jump up or if the puck's going to bounce over you. And as soon as Marner gets it, he says, I know my line mate's going to the net. Kachuk beelines it to the net. He gets inside position on Lozon, and that is some depth, hand-eye coordination, excellent stick skills, and Dad loves it. Why wouldn't he? His son's team's up one nothing. Chip off the old block with a goal like that. Go to the front of the net, get a stick on it. Beautiful goal for Matthew Kachuk. And the Knights, they lead. Back defending, what a pass that was up in the air from DeVore. Here's Timo Meyer. He might be inspired by that goal. They get it right back. How about the Huskies? It's Perron that ties it. The London Knights absolutely deadly when they score first, but the Huskies say, you know what, we don't care. Look at the speed by Meyer through the zone. Now he goes to the backhand, he uses his body to protect the puck, gets it to the front of the net, and Perron, inside position on Graves. Well, Perron goes hard to the net, the Ottawa prospect, we talked about it getting off the slide in the last game, giving him confidence, getting on the board with a goal. He goes right to the net, battles Graves, that's tough to do, tucks it inside the post, and we're knotted at one. 11-game point streak for Francis Perron. Both he and Timo Meyer have a point in every game at this MasterCard Memorial Cup. On the flip side, Dvorak and Marner are now on 20-game point streaks. So the big players coming through with a big game. And we're back tied with the MasterCard Memorial Cup on the line. There's a giveaway. Four times to Ganling in on the back end. Parsons kicked out of side. Wakett came in with a high, hard shot. It's too high, though. Wakett gets it again in the corner. Joe Levy can't contain him. Able to go back to the blue line. Fortan back down to the corner. Julian named Carroll. That puck bounced off. Back at the blue line. It's kept in by Philip Myers. Behind the net. It's Fortan again. Takes a hit. Still has the putt. Goes cross ice. Bruyara shot. And it's Parsons catching it. Huskies with some momentum now. They didn't let the Knights enjoy their lead for long. It's back to being tied. Francis Perron led the QMJHL in playoff goals. Matthew Kachuk led the OHL in playoff goals. And look, the big goal scorers come through in the big game. Well, every coach talks about your best players have to be your best players in order to win. But how about this? Marner to Dvorak, and, or to uh, Kachuk, rather, and he just deflects it in. Puck was about knee high. And then Timo Meyer with great speed. He cuts the net, gets the backhand, a little deflection off the defenseman. Stick goes to Perron. Perron out battles, graves to the net, and we're tied at one. The captains getting in on the respective goals for their hockey clubs. That lead for the Knights lasted 15 seconds. Nine and a half minutes to go in the second. What a championship game this has been. Playing at the end match, Centrium in Red Deer, 98 MasterCard oh, Memorial oh, Cup. Knights, 16-game winning streak, including going 3-0 in the round robin, going straight to the final today. 
Huskies had a little more difficult route. They wound up one and two, played in the semifinal, beat Red Deer. So a two and two record gets them here, and Fontaine is offside. Raising $100,000 for Fort McMurray. It's a goal that everyone can feel good about. Give today and MasterCard will match any donation made at redcross.ca slash MasterCard. How about the fans here? I mean, there's not a Western Hockey League team. The Red Deer Rebels were beat out. The Brandon Wheat Kings have long been gone. And this place is absolutely packed to come out and watch teams from the other two leagues battle for a national championship. You got to love it. What a great job, Red Deer. See that leaf sweater? Well, you got Mitch Marner, you got J.J. Pickenich, you got Martin Zerkals, and you got some high-end draft-eligible players in this one, so there's a lot of Leaf fans paying attention. Oh, he's so good defensively back there for the Huskies, but Jones, a tough guy to contain. Jones trying to come out of the corner with a puck. Carr staying tight to him, and then he steps into Mete. Puck comes back behind the Huskies' net. There's Carr. Wakeford standing still at his own blue line. Now it's um, hard work to get to center ice, but he did. Joe Levy. Good cross ice pass. Aaron Barisha was hovering down there. Trying to spin away from Jeremy Lozal. Hold in. He's got it into the night chip. Drops it back to Wakeford. That pass. Not down by Graves. Wakeford in front. And he narrowly missed. There's a pass back to the blue line. It had some gusto on it. It was out of the reach of Jeremy Loza. That gives the Knights a bit of a break. Here come the Huskies now. And how about the chant at the Inmatch Centrum in Red Deer, Alberta? It's go Huskies, go. How do you figure that? When A.J. Greer said that his Rouen Miranda crowd was better than Red Deer's. There's a pass in front to Meyer. Perron's following up, and he's dancing around. Got it back in front to Meyer. The Knights just trying to tie up this big line for the Huskies. It's not easy to do. Crawley into the corner. He just inches away from Perron. Banks the puck. A good bank pass now to Yakimovic, and he's passed Meyer. And Meyer was forced to trip him up. Another penalty coming up to Rouen Noranda. Well, Timo Meyer was actually in perfect position. The pinching D, he covered up for him, and then Yakimovic has good speed. He's uh, underrated in that regard. He gets a step on Timo Meyer right here, and he's forced to trip him up while defending. And Meyer, the San Jose first rounder, once he started to extend himself, the only way he could catch up was with the stick, and he did so, and gets called for the tripping. And CJ Yakimovic, St. Louis prospect. Bill Armstrong, their head scout, said when they drafted him, we love him because we think he's old school. Huskies get the puck down the ice off the faceoff. Knights are really going to have to take advantage of this power play. This is their third power play of the game. They're 0 for 2. Rowan Miranda hasn't had a power play yet. Joel Evans. That pass bounced away from Borussia. The Borat got to it. Got it over to Marner. That Puck was slow getting there, so Marner just had to make a pass down to Borussia. Now it's Dvorak calming things down for the Knights. The old Levy over to the open side. Dvorak, Marner there in close proximity. Kachuk has it in the corner. Back to Marner. He has to circle the net. You'll have shot. Marchand, he was over and let it hit him. Marner gets it again. Dvorak, he's cross high speed off a stick. It's bouncing around. Knights working hard to get it. Mauritius shielding it. He dumps it down towards the front of the net. That's Jeremy Lozon intercepting. And he moves it into the night's end. And uh, it's time to get those penalty killers changed for the Huskies. They got it done. The check sends it down low. Under a minute to go in the power play. Marisha, he can't connect with Kachak. And now this is down the ice again. A good job uh, pressuring by the Ruin Miranda penalty kill. They're really not giving London much opportunity to set up and look for that back door. They're consistently pressuring the puck car carrier and they're taking away the top of the ice. Christian Dvorak, Kachak, right back to Marner, back to Kachak. Can't shoot, Marner gets it, he fanned on it, and Mantell has stolen it. They can right back by Pickett. Marner shoots off the side of the net. Matei sits down there. He's not going to be denied. There's the reliable Nicola Bouillon. And he's thinking a little offense now, too. The defenseman has it. 
in his possession along the boards. Waited for Perron to get there. Short-handed. Huskies might get a chance. Only a couple of seconds to go in this night's power play. And the Knights 0 for 3 with a man advantage. This penalty kill for the Huskies has been perfect. Perron, quick lead on offense. Back to Meyer. There's a big save. Rebound gets to the front of the net again. Parsons knocked that away. Tyler Parsons kicking the pad out and then knocking the puck away with his stick. McKay goes the other way. The Chuck, he's battling for it against Rosa. Marner's still out there, too. These nights have to be tired. Marner goes and gets it. Tries to get it down in front of the net. Zachary Rosa plays it along the boards. This will get out. Jacob Graves looks around. He's not going to be pressured here, so he has time to make a play, and he put it off the referee. Zertel's head fake. Doesn't shoot. Has to circle the net, but he's got lots of speed. Zertel is back to the blue line now. McDonald trying to stay with him. Finally shoots, but it's off a stick, and goes harmlessly to the corner. Jones, cross-size, perfect pass in front for McDonald, and it's knocked away. Back in front of the Huskies' net. There's Fontaine to get it out of there. Carrara picks it up behind his goal. Al Myers reverses it back to Carrara. He's got some room on that side. Up at center, A.J. Greer was tapping his stick. That pass intercepted. It came back to Greer, though. Victor Mette plays it off the glass. This will go down the ice. It won't be icing. Carrara retrieves it for the Huskies. Jeremy Lozon takes his time. That bank pass, it's a good one. Alexander Forte had to circle back. Now the Knights have taken it away. Who in the middle of the ice? He comes streaking in again. There's a shot and a save by Marchand. Who in the corner? He's hit by Lozon. Huskies have it again. They'll just bank it off the boards to get it out. Forte skating well. Jameson is aware that he was going to be close to that puck. He came over to help out his defense partner. Knights lift it up in the air again, and it works for them. There's Zakamovic with another shot on goal and another save for Marchand. But Chase Marchand has really been sharp in this game. Those last two trips down the ice, taking hard shots off the shoulder. He hasn't been faced. Huskies trying to go to work again. Uh, Bandanato. He gets it down behind the Knights net again. Under three minutes to go in the second period. Walking right in front of the net. The Huskies get a couple of cracks at it, and Parsons stayed down low and blocked everything. He kept it out of his net. The Huskies and the Knights. It's been a tight block game. It's still 1-1. Brought to you by Cooper Tires. Cooper builds tires for the way real drivers really drive. Life's a road trip. Come on, let's go. How about the road for Mitch Marner? This is 15 years ago at the Malvern Arena in Toronto. That little skater is Mitchell Marner. He's got wheels and apparently knows how to drive the net too. This was a feature they did on him at City Television in Toronto, and take a look now. He is the Sportsnet CHL Player of the Year. What a road, and this road may take him to the NHL and the Toronto Maple Leafs. RJ, Sam. Isn't it something if you can only tell the future? Little guy buzzing around out there. You never know how things are going to end up. And top player in the CHL this year. As his Knights in the MasterCard Memorial Cup championship game. He has an assist, too. Off this face off. Huskies wanted to get it to the net. J.J. picking it. Had other ideas. He'll send that in just to the side of the goal. Quickly after it is Matt Day. There's a shot from McDonald. It's off a stick and goes out of play. You know, you talk about Mitch Marner, uh, RJ. Dan Robson wrote a beautiful piece in Sportsnet.ca uh, about how last year he had five points in his first ten games. He took some time away from the team, went back with his skills coach, Rob DeVoe, got a reset, came back, and it led to him being selected fourth overall by the Toronto Maple Leafs. And from there, he has absolutely taken off. He's a star in the making. Here's Pickenich again. He's got a great shot. Blows on. He got in front of it and blocked it. A.J. Pickenich. He spins and made a pass in front of the net. Now it's Victor Mete's turn. Trying to go to the net. He's not down. He's still down in the crease. He'll have to get back. There come the Huskies now, led by their defenseman, Philip Myers. This is kept in by Perron. Myers is still down there. Dropped off for Bodin. In front to Timo Myers. And Carson 
Williams makes another great save. Myers is down in front of the Knights net. And he is in a lot of pain. Yeah, Joe Bouchard's looking for a call. He got involved with uh, McDonald in the middle of the ice, and everyone is attracted to what Bodana Perron was doing, creating the shot on goal. And behind the play, McDonald gets hung up with Myers. Myers obviously gets the worst of it as he remains on the ice. And what an awesome story this guy is. He goes to camp with Philadelphia this year, ends up getting signed out of camp as a free agent. And it's nice to see him back up on his own power and hopefully he won't be out for long in the middle of your screen you'll see Myers get hooked up with McDonald right there and it's that left knee that gets spun around as the shot on goal right there oh man a knee on knee situation no call was made and this is tough to watch Myers walk down the alleyway hopefully he can return he is one of the top defensemen not just in the QMJHL but all of the Canadian Hockey League. He was a first team all star. And Joe Bouchard, that's a lot of valuable minutes. He's hoping it's not as bad as it initially looks. I'll be sure to keep you updated. Not much time to go in the second period. Nicola Brouillard. He's to center ice. Wraps it in, Yolevi pokes at it. Zerkel is waiting for the puck along the boards. He has it, trying to shot. Lots of traffic in front, not cleared. Knights are diving, trying to get to it, but it's the Huskies who have it. Rear to the front of the net. There's another save for Parsons. It's loose. He had to make another one. Puck still loose. Parsons searching for it. Huskies will endless. And there's a penalty coming up. It was either going to be a goal or a penalty the way the Huskies were going, and they will get a power play as Graves is going to the penalty box. Wow, they're really pressing the net, the Rouen Naran, the Huskies. The only issue here is they don't have a lot of real estate to work with, and so when you're in tight, it's tough to get the puck in an area you want it to go. Look at all these shots, all tight. Parsons is down, and while he's down, he does a good job protecting the lower part of the net. Then you have to try and get it by his body. Everyone hanging around the blue paint. It's just a circus down there. A mass of humanity, and finally, as Bouillard, the veteran defenseman, comes in, draws the penalty on Graves, and we get our first look at this Bruin Miranda Huskies power play. And it's a good power play. Six of their 13 goals at the MasterCard Memorial Cup have been scored with a man advantage. And keep your eye on number 20, Timo Meyer. He has three power play goals. Francis Paul. Passes over to Meyer. He tried to make a quick shot to the short side and put it on the side of the net. Perron keeps it in. Meyer, his pass goes right to Perron. Marner tried to get loose, but he can't get it away from the Huskies captain. It's a hard shot. It's up. Oh, it's bouncing around. It's stayed out. Parsons over. It's still down by the net. Parsons diving for it. Can't get a glove on it. It's still loose. Parsons reached again. Finally, the Knights have it. What a barrage, what an absolute barrage, and an excellent play by Perron to avoid Marner at the line. That got the puck down low, and it turned into another circus in front of Parsons. Under 20 seconds to go in the period. Look at Perron skating through the Knights. Now he heads back to the blue line. Maybe a change here for the Huskies. Myers snaps his shot. That's wide of the goal. Perron at the blue line. They'll have to get it to the net quickly. Pass across for Timo Meyer. He wants to go back to the blue line. There wasn't much time. He tried to shoot. The buzzer goes. And the Huskies took it to the Knights in that second period. And they'll have a little power play time to continue that over into the third. Boy, look at the battle scars of these teams playing hard against one another. And it's Crawley who makes an outstanding play. A bullet of a shot off the shoulder. Crawley's down there. Bodan has it. Another good shot. And there's Crawley. Look at him defend. Hound hard in the stick. Wake it can't get by him. And Parsons has to struggle to take this shot. It was sitting there on the doorstep. Meyer couldn't get it. Wake it couldn't get it. And Parsons ends up the benefactor here. Oh, man, what a push by the Huskies. And what a championship game it is. The Master Card Memorial Cup is on the line. And this game is tied with a period to go. This game has been fantastic. I know it's not the format, but can we please, David Branch, make this a best of seven? 1-1, one, one, heading to the third, Rob Falls with Matthew Kachuk. He got one of the two goals in that period. Not much room out there to work, is there? 
know that we know they're a good team. You know, they're number one. You know, going into the playoff and you know coming into this tournament. But um, you know, I love our team, and, and if we play the 20 minutes that we're supposed to, um, you know, there's a reason why we've come this far. You've got a little bit of work to do too. You got 49 seconds to kill. Yeah, um, you know, we believe in our penalty kill, and you know, once we kill this off, you know, uh, we'll get back to work. Thanks very much. Well, he's one of the hardest workers on the London Knights, that young man, as the Knights go 1-1 after two. And the call of the third is R.J. Broadhead, Sam Cosentino. One period to decide the 2016 MasterCard Memorial Cup champions. And Jacob Graves is in the penalty box to start the third. The Rowan Noranda Huskies have 49 seconds on the power play. Late in that second period, they came close, had lots of chances with the man advantage, but Tyler Parsons was there to make the saves when needed, and the goalies have been great. Parsons and Chase Marchand. Mitch Marner's out at center ice. Knights are short-handed, but they've got Dvorak and Marner, and they're always dangerous. Dvorak tried a short side chance. Marchand, the way he's going, it's not going to go in from there. Timo Meyer dumps it in, takes a hit. Knights hurry after it. It's the Borak back there. Didn't get a lot on the clear. Crowley tried to keep the puck moving. Didn't get it out. Farsides pass. Here's the Borak again. It's poked away from him by Bruyon. Now Mete gets it behind his net. There's Crowley with a bit of time. Way up at center. Here's Mitch Marner. One on one against the forward. It's Perron back there. Quite a quick shot. That was kicked aside by Marchand. The penalty to Graves is over. Pretty good play there by Perron. He didn't give away the inside of the ice and forced Marner to the outside. Not much Francis Perron can't do. There's a turnover behind the net. Sir Cowles tried to wrap it around and lost it just before he could get it to the net. Jones couldn't catch up to the puck. So the Huskies send it back into the night chain. Parsons wants to move, but he saw Sir Cowles had some speed coming in. Then you'll let got tangled up. Couldn't get the puck out. Jeremy Lowe's on. His shot. Stopped by Parsons. And he hangs on. Wow, to the middle of the ice they go, and opportunity for Lozon to get a good shot on goal. But again, Parsons, he just looks so comfortable back there. He takes it in the middle of his body. You see this lane open, wide open, but there's just enough space for him to track this puck. And good news for the Rouen Noran, the Huskies, is Philip Myers is back on the bench after leaving in a knee-on-knee -knee collision with Owen McDonald in the second. He didn't put any weight on that leg leaving the ice. They need him, though. Back to five on five. Nice show for three on the power play. Ruin the land 0 for one. Second straight year where the MasterCard Memorial Cup has been tied 1-1 after two periods. Last year, Oshawa beat Kelowna in overtime. Anthony Cirelli had the big goal. There's a pass in front from Yo Levy. That just missed Barisha. Forte, he wants to wind things up. Barisha made him slow down. And then Donato, he couldn't get the pass. And now it's back into the neutral zone. It's touched with a glove, so that stops play. Julian Nantel, one of three Colorado prospects on this uh, Ruen Miranda Huskies team. And a guy, interestingly enough, that when he was drafted, they were worried about his skating, but that's not an issue now. And Chase Marchand, you know, Joey Perricone is the goalie coach here, and Chase Marchand admitted that it's been an up-and-down tournament for him. So yesterday, or Friday, when they came to the rink, they said, looked at some good video, wanted him to feel good about himself, be happy. He said a happy Chase Marchand is a good Chase Marchand. He's been great today. Shots fairly even. Huskies have 23. The Knights have 22. 1-1. One, one. This game. Championship game. 98th MasterCard Memorial Cup. Here come the Huskies now. Jean-Christophe Baudin. He leads the way. Waits for Meyer to get open. Primo Meyer tried to snap a shot. Bodies flying in front of the Knights bench. Here's four of them coming in over the line. It's a four-on-one. McDonald to the net. Parson came over. And he stopped Mete. Another absolutely terrific save from Chase Marchand. Wow, he read it like a book, and they are coming with speed. Tons of it. The London Knights, four of them up the middle of the ice. And it's McDonald who has the puck. He goes to the fourth option. And Marchand read it like a book. It's over there with that right pad. And how about at the end of the play? Perron bumps into his own man as he gets a rough ride there, and that gets bumped right there by Timo Meyer. And he was really slow going to the bench. There he is sitting there, which is a good sign. 
ball behind his net. That time evaporated quickly. The Borak was there to Chuck digging for it. Marner wants to get it, and now he has it. He spots the Borak. That shot's blocked by Caron. It comes back to the blue line. Graves. He missed the Borak, his intended target with the pass. And that allows Martin Zerkals to come into the night zone. Tried to stick handle through all those nights. Hockey's kept it in. Pass hard in front of the net. That's off the skate. And in the bank pass to Kachuk. Just out of his reach. Marner can't get there in time to keep it in. It's out of play anyway. Well, that's one thing the Ruin and the Huskies have done a pretty good job. But Marner, uh, Dvorak, and Kachuk did not allow them to handle the puck for long periods of time. And one thing to take away the time and space and play physical on that group. But it's another thing to completely put them out of their rhythm. To force them to make plays before they want to make plays. And, you know, the one time you let your pedal off the metal what happens they end up scoring a goal but other than that Ruin Rand has done a great job on that top line the pool Julian Nantel on this face off everything's a battle now Nantel barrels into Burrishell on the board down the blue trying to control for the Huskies they'll get it out led by Alexander Fortin he tried to bounce it in front of the net. Parsons knows these boards in Red Deer now. He shoveled it back to the corner. Their pain's behind the net, and he's got some time. Back to Nabu. Now he's worked his way down to the corner. Can't shoot from there, so he gets out of it. Right back down low. Wakeit. He's bumped by Chris Martinet. Wakeit still has the puck, trying to go to the front of the net. He spins to his forehand, but he couldn't get it on goal. Fortan's checked. Here's Nantel following up. Huskies taking the play to the Knights right now. Behind the net is Fortan. Working his way to the front. Knights don't let that happen. Wake it. He's checked by Martin Ant. He makes a pass behind his own goal to Aiden Jamison. That's off the boards. Down the ice. It's icing. Good chance here for Ruan Miranda, and go figures that Dale Hunter calls the timeout here. I mean, he's feeling the pressure. Still 15 minutes, 49 seconds left in this third period, but Dale Hunter says, you know what? We can't take a chance here. Those guys had to defend. There was a lot of cycle going on. Ruan Miranda had great pressure, and that's one thing. You're not necessarily getting all those shots to the net, but the zone time is really effective, and it forces the Knights to use their timeout and to burn it here with plenty of time left in this third period. Last time the Knights were in our MasterCard Memorial Cup Championship game was 2012. That was in Shewinigan. And they were also tied at one after two periods. Similar type teams. You had one goalie, Michael Hauser, back then. You had the young and the old, the draft eligible guys when you go back to Horvat and Domi. And then you had your older veterans like the Austin Watsons. And same here. You've got Kachuk, you've got Jones as your younger guys. You've got Marner, Dvorak as your older guys. A very similar team to the 2012 London Knights squad. You'll notice it's a different group of Knights out there. You can change on a timeout on an ice in the... Canadian Hockey League. A little different role than in the NHL. Huskies control off the faceoff though. Meyer tried a shot on goal. It was blocked by Dvorak and then lifted up high again. That play has given the Huskies some fits. And it's the Huskies icing it this time. And they're saying that yes, you can indeed change. And Joel Bouchard, very calm on the bench. He's got a real quiet, calm demeanor about him. And talked about his experience to 2013 when he won the Queen's Cup with UQTR. And then last year, winning the under 17s, working with Scott Walker behind the bench as two huge moments to help prepare him for what the MasterCard Memorial Cup was going to offer him. And he's handled his team extremely well, getting that first win out of the way and then building with their game ever since. Off the face off, there's Marner with a shot, but the Husky. Now the Huskies just lift it up to get it out. Ole Olevi calmly gets it over to Jacob Graves. Now it's Kachuk. Marner had to take it in his skates. He's got those good feet. Decided to kick it in. Kachuk chased after it. So did Dvorak. Olevi able to keep it in. Now it's Dvorak. Tried to shoot. Olevi gets it again. He spotted Kachuk. Now that's through by Graves. Knights just aren't getting their sticks on those pucks in the scoring positions. Marner, who couldn't get past three Huskies with the puck. And Rolando Landa didn't get it deep in the Knights' end. Braves waits for everyone to get on side. Now, here come the Knights. Meyer is trying to get it past the ball act. Now it's Sir Cannell's turn to get this out. Meyer's back there to help out. Two on two. He's got Fontaine with him. And Timo Meyer couldn't stay on side. 
You know, you look at Gabriel Fontaine, an interesting story. He grew up in Sherbrooke, was playing for the Sherbrooke Phoenix. Well, this summer they traded for him, and what is being called one of the coups of this uh, Jill Bouchard GM routine. They pick him up, and he says, Jill Bouchard really worked with me. It was difficult playing at home. There was a lot of pressure. I get over to Ruan Miranda. Some of that is taken away. He noticed my body language wasn't particularly well, and turned him into a fine player. A guy I think he's going to get drafted here in his second goal run. J.J. Pickenick. Oh, makes him circle the net. Pickenick is pass. Sent back to midday. He gets the feet moving to make sure it stays here. McDonald's behind the goal. He's been with the Knights since he's been a 16-year-old. Now he's 19. Yakubovic leaves it for Mente. Delon bumps him along the board. Yakubovic at the blue line. He's got a little bit of time, so he creeps a little closer to the net. Just kept it down low. McDonald goes to work again. Owen McDonald back to the corner where Yakubovic now is. Pickenich. He bumps with Timo Meyer. Gets to the puck first. J.J. Pickenich to McDonald. Big blocker saved by Marchand. Pause back on the ice. Here's a bandanado at center. Loses the handle as he gets to the blue line. The rookie has Matt Day to deal with now, and the Knights defenseman took it away. Brandon Crawley to center ice. Sends off the glass and a wrap around. Borussia tried to knock it down. 410. Slides it over to Dan Tell. Three Huskies come in over the line. Four of them now. Lozon's joined. And now Joel Lozon has it behind the net. Here's Wakeit. He might get a lane to shoot. He tried a shot. Gets his own rebound. It's off the post. Oh, that was close. Off the post of the Knights get it. Sent into the Rouen Norander zone, but it was on the night side of center. They've iced it. And the Huskies can't believe they don't have the lead. Antoine Wakeit came right in front, and he came that close. It's been a terrific championship game at the MasterCard Memorial Cup. Rouen, Aranda, London here in the third period, still tied at one. And Sam, it's not often the number one ranked team in the CHL comes in as the underdogs. But the way the Knights have been playing, 16-game winning streak, they did come in as the team that had to play the best to beat the top team right now. Well, it's pretty crazy. You go back to the Owen Sound series. They won that 4-2. But since that time, April 1st, there was one week left in the regular season. The price of bread was about 20 cents. Danny Willett was a week away from winning the Masters. And the Blue Jays were still in spring training in Montreal. So it's been that long since the London Knights' last loss and tied here in the third period. Who knows? what will happen. 13 minutes to go in the third. Mitch Marner's on the ice with Christian Dvorak and Matthew Kachuk. A.J. Greer confidently comes back in his own zone. Yo Levy had fallen down. He was quick to get up. Still trying to get into the play. Brouillard with a hard shot. Got it a little too high. Sir Cowles banks off. Plays it off the boards. Fontaine reaches for it. Greer's there to help out. And now the Knights have Joe Levy looking for that stretch pass. The ball was up there, but the Huskies weren't going to let him get it through. To check, catch to the net, and it's poked away, and then it bounces to Chase Marchand, and he covers up. Some good puck handling from Matthew Kachuk. Nicolo Bouillard is the one defending against him after he took a slap shot that missed the net. Now he's forced to go one on one against Matthew Kachuk. Actually, it's Neveu, his partner. You'll see that Fontaine misses the check, a little outside in move. Kachuk takes it to the net, runs out of real estate, but still the puck was sitting there before Marchand was able to get it. Knights come close again. Nice face off controlled by the Huskies. There's a nervous buzz here at the end, Max Century. The Huskies knew they had to play their best. They are, so is London. And that's turned into a fantastic game. J.J. Pickenick, new pass intercepted by Alan Cohen. Another good defensive play. And Cohen, known for his defense, had 11 goals in the regular season. He's gone to the front of the net. Puck bounced off the inboards. Now Cohen, the defensive specialist, is caught. The Huskies have some support back there. There's two forwards as Victor Mente comes in. Behind the net, he's double teamed. Nolan McDonald going to the front. He couldn't pull the trigger. Alan Barisha. He worked hard to try to tank that puck down, but he couldn't take control. And now the Knights have to back up. 
Jones, come on. That gets center ice. Max Jones snaps a shot. That's too hot. But Poo off the bench. He's able to keep it in. Now Barisha, he's still out there. Gets it toward the front of the net. That's picked up quickly by Rosa. Advanced along the boards, but Chris Poo stepped in front of him. Julian Nantel has to circle back, trying to find some open ice to get this puck out. He's able to lift it up high. That gets a few feet outside the blue line, and Jones sends it right back in. There's some Huskies that would like to get a change in. Jones trying to knock it away from Fortan, and he's forced him behind his net. Lozar, he tries that flip play. And this will work a little better for the Huskies. Fortan is still skating well. Oh, it's in! It's a goal! Nantel scores! And the Huskies lead! Great speed here by Gabriel Fortin. Watch, he is being bothered, but he gets back into his own zone, gives up the puck, the flip pass ends up on his tape. Now, because of his speed, he creates a big gap there. Sends it to Nantel in front of the net, who's got great speed in his own line, and he does a great job, Nantel. You can see it from the ref camp, just hanging back, waiting for that pass. Fortin back in pass. Nantel upstairs, and the Huskies are on top. Julian Nantel, his second goal, his second point of the MasterCard Memorial Cup. He scored in game two against Red Deer. This, a much bigger goal. And the Huskies lead the London Knights with just over ten and a half minutes to go in the third. Well, you look at uh, Gabriel Fortan, and this is uh, unbelievable what he's able to do here. He's just being bothered, bothered. So he says, you know what, I'm going to circle back in my own zone. He's still skating. He's still got the feet moving. He gives it up, the flick pass. And now he skates under it with great speed at center ice. This extra burst of speed by Jameson forces Jameson to go down. That opens up the passing lane and then tell with great finish. Knights trail for the first time since May the 9th. Almost three weeks. Now can the Huskies close this one out? There is a lot of time to go. This is not icing so much, and leaves it behind his neck. Martyrs on the ice, so is Dvorak and Kachuk. Expect to see this top line of the Knights a lot here down the stretch, and this is going to be a penalty. It was not out of midair and not over the glass. It's a delay of game to the Huskies. And Greer will go after the Fortan goal, gives them the lead for the Fortan assist. Gives them the lead on the Nantel goal. You'll see Greer right here. He just whacks it out of midair. He's just trying to knock that puck around. And everyone talks about this penalty being an issue in the National Hockey League, but it's Greer who will suffer the loss here. Huskies off the pace off. Okay, so far so good for them on the penalty kick. They have been so good killing the Knights power players in this game. Knights over three. They came in nine for 20, almost 50% on the power play. But this is when they need one. Marisha behind the net. He's held there by Nabu. Dvorak moves it around. Back to the blue line, Marner. He quickly gets it back to Dvorak. Kachak in front. Marisha the shot. Marshan, another great save. And it's cleared by the Huskies. Marisha at center ice. Gets it back on the stick of Yoletti. Marisha has it again, looking for a lane to shoot. Now he's forced to circle back. Yoletti. The finish in port made a pass. Tom blocked that. Yolevi gets it back. Now it's down for Kachuk. He leaves it for Marner. Poked away from him. Huskies are getting to these pucks first. Not letting the Knights set up. And Nabu will come up with it in the corner with a chance to clear. And he's successful. Well, the fans here have really taken to the Rouen Miranda Huskies. And we talked about AJ Greer being the number one enemy in the semi on Friday. Well, they've taken a liking to them now. Christian Devorak drops it off for Kachuk. Leaves it for Mete. Mete forced to go wide. His pass went past everybody. Now the Knights are going to have to get back. Mete is such a good skater. He's the one that passed the puck. And he was the first one back. How about his speed? There might be another penalty coming up to Ruan Miranda. There is. And then Marner's knocked down at center. Huskies in. No hurry here. Finally, they touch the puck. The whistle goes.
Fontaine will end up going to the box here. Marner was in trouble too. Farrar is going over to speak with the officials. Fontaine just got inside the line and he was banging around right at the door of the London Knights bench. He and Mete were there. Now he comes back right here and you'll see him as he's going to the bench. He gets the stick right up into the face of Kachuk. And Fontaine goes to the box and I think the referees are discussing something that might have happened with Mitch Marner in the middle of the ice as well. He was down at the end of the play. Fontaine, he's going in now. Still 12 seconds to go in the penalty to A.J. Greer, too. Well, this is going to be all kinds of difficulty here for the Rouen Miranda Huskies. And, you know, the one good thing here is they've been able to rest their top players while this thing has been able to get sorted out. So you don't have to worry about the timeout, at least right now, for Joe Bouchard. Also rests London's top players, too, who have been out there for the whole power play. They're still out there. So 12 seconds, five on three. Knights trailing by one. And just over eight minutes to go in the third. Face-off scrummed, and it's won by John Christophe Baudin. He got it down the ice. That is a big face-off win. That'll about do it for the two-man advantage. Greer jumping off. Now he's on the ice. And he had the puck for a moment. Desperation, he gets it back, and that forces the Knights to start again. Good hustle by Greer. He knew exactly what he was doing. Got it down the ice, got off for Wakey to get out there. He's got good speed and he's been good on the PK. Mitch Marner is the one who will bring it into the Huskies in. Drops it off for Barisha. Barisha down to the corner. Double access, so he leaves the puck for him. check to the blue line. Marner, now it's over to Mente. In front, Kachuk couldn't pull the trigger. The puck's sitting there, and the Huskies get enough on it to get it outside the line. Dvorak comes in again. Just over a minute to go on the power play. What a move by Dvorak! And then he's stopped by the last line of the face, Case Marchand. Huskies bouncing puck. Can't get it out. There's a shot from Marner. It's off a stick and floats up high and goes out of play. Wow, Christian Dvorak, Arizona's second round pick. Hurt during his draft year. Arizona got him as a steal. He comes in across the line, makes a move on Nevoe. has got his feet pointed north, comes back the other way and takes it to the net. Has to dive just to get some wood on at the last second, but Marchand did a good job tracking him to the far post. 53 seconds to go in the power play now for the Knights. They're 0 for 4. So much talk about this power play. Don't take penalties against London. Huskies have taken a lot more than the London Knights have. There might be something here, too. Picking a Chimbriard going after one another. Picking at you left Boston University to join the London Knights. Bruyard's a longtime veteran. He knows what it's all about to get these opportunities. He didn't like the hit from Picking it, so he decided to hold on to his leg, and Picking it just kept jabbing at him to get him to let go of a stick. And then you look at Bruyard last year with the Quebec Ramparts and the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League. They were the host of the Master Car Memorial Cup last year. He gets another opportunity this year in his last go around. And he has left it all out on the ice for the Huskies in this one. You look at those defenseman scores over the last few years for Yar's second this year. He won the defenseman the year before that. Last four years, he's been no worse than third in defenseman scoring in the QMJHL. He's in the penalty box now. Under 40 seconds to go on the night's power play. Under seven minutes to go in the third. Huskies lead two to one. Dvorak, a nice move to get inside the Husky zone. Nice shot on Marchand. He stopped it and his defense cleared it. Jacob Nabu, he's an underrated hero back there for the Huskies. Henry Killer blocks shots, gets to those rebounds. Down the ice again, Perron gets it done this time. And now this power play almost done. Huskies get it again, and that should be enough. Volley goes back, Parsons letting all his teammates know that the penalty's almost over, and it is now. Marner still has the puck. He gets it over to Kitschak. That's 
turned over. And Timo Meyer pokes it out, but he can't get to it before Graves. Jeremy Lozon leaves it for Meyer, and now he's got some room to come into the night's end. Meyer's circling the goal. Leaves it there for Fortang. Graves swats it away, but didn't get it past the blue line. This is lofted down toward the net. Fortan was down there. And Carson stopped it and didn't allow a loose puck for Fortan. The Huskies lead in the third. This is the prize. It's the MasterCard Memorial Cup. And through the years, the teams that have won it realize how hard it is to celebrate that victory. The work ethic has to be at another level. The desire, the want, the will all has to be there. And maybe in six minutes, one of these two teams will be the next MasterCard Memorial Cup champion. It's pressure time now. 5.53 on the clock. Championship game, London Knights. Come into this one on a 16-game winning streak. Haven't lost since April the 1st. The Huskies, number one ranked team in the Canadian Hockey League, have the lead. One goal lead is not comfortable against these Knights, though. Goes on going back, gets it away from Jones. Al Fontaine up to center now. The Huskies trying to make something happen. They get it in the Knights end. Brave circles back, but the Huskies aren't going to pressure. They want to make sure they've got support back in their own zone. They don't want to give the Knights an odd man chance. 16-year-old Robert Thomas. He tried to center the puck. It'll come back to the blue line. Kept in by London. Crawley's long shot. That got through to the net. It's stopped by Marchand. Jones is knocked down right on the doorstep. He was in there searching for a rebound that didn't exist. How about Dale Hunter having a hunch and going with 16-year-old Robert Thomas out there with Jones and Cliff Poo. And it ends up being a decent shot on goal. You can see whacking at it as Jones in front of the net tried to draw a penalty by falling to the ice, but the officials weren't buying it there. Here comes the Dvorak line with Marner and Kitschuk. That's not a surprise to the Huskies. They know they'll get a full dose of these guys. London needs offense. These guys can bring it. That was cleared out by the Huskies, but right into their own bench. So this faceoff will be deep again in their own end. And you see a whole lot of this line with Marner, Kachuk, Dvorak out there, especially Dvorak with his faceoff winning abilities for the London Knights. Came in at over 52% in the tournament. Dvorak gets it over to Kachuk. He goes to the corner, trying to keep Naboo away from it. Here's Mente. That shot didn't get through. Well, the Knights might be caught. Baudin has put on with him. Baudin's pass. Knocked down in front of the net. Perron tried to swipe at it, but he didn't get any good wood on it. At center ice, it's Kachuk. He's by himself, working one on two, controlling the puck. Now here come the friends on the Knights. Marner in the middle of the ice couldn't shoot. And Francis Perron moves it ahead to a spot where Timo Meyer can track it down. Perron in, but he lifted it too high. A great play by Perron and Meyer, but they couldn't finish it. Under four and a half to go in the third. Knights are offside. Four minutes and 26 seconds on the clock. The Huskies lead by one in the championship game. It was almost two. Here is the insurance play of the game. It's brought to you by your local insurance broker. Get a broker on your side because your best insurance is an insurance broker. Alexander Fortin works with Natalie Olivier in power skating during the offseason. Then it really paid off here. He comes in with a ton of speed. Leaves it for Julian Nantel with the finish. Fortin protecting the puck with the backhand. Picture perfect pass in front of the net to give the Huskies a 2-1 lead. Faceoff is in the ninth end. Dvorak's out to take it against Julian Nantel. Nantel has the go-ahead goal for Ruan Noranda. Faceoff winds up on the sticks of the Knights. Max Jones moves it into the Huskies' end. He gets knocked down by Lozon. Now barreling down to the corner is Jones. Fresh in front, Dvorak scores! Knights have tied it! Wow, and the 
fans just loving great hockey here. We got a tie game late. Jones takes a beating. He's looking for a penalty as Lozon finishes him off, but that actually pulls Lozon out of the play. And so the Knights go into the fourth check. Marisha does a good job eliminating Briard. It ends up back at a stick. And a depth backhand pass to Christian Dvorak. Dvorak just hanging around. He knows to go to the net. He's got a stick on the ice. It's on and off the tape in a hurry. And the Knights tie it up late. That is not the guy you want to leave alone. Seventh goal of the MasterCard Memorial Cup. 52 goals in his OHL season. That was more than anyone else in the league. And he's tied it. What a battle this has been. Knights trailed for the first time in nearly three weeks. But they found a way to tie things up. Well, there's under four minutes to go on the clock. 2-2. Championship game of the MasterCard Memorial Cup. That's an icing. Well, you got to love it, RJ. I mean, you heard earlier when Nantel scored, the crowd was on its feet. They'd love it. It was 2-1. <laughs> the Knights come back. They're on their feet again. Interesting when you have an impartial crowd because there's no Red Deer Rebels. There's no Brandon Wheat Kings. It's an OHL team against a Quebec Major Junior Hockey League team, and the fans just loving their hockey here tonight. Pack house at the end, Max Centrum. It's been a great game. Come on. His shot gets through to Parsons, and he was able to hold on to that one. Good job off the draw. Corral spreads wide, and any shot is a good shot at this juncture of the game. And you can see a excellent work off the faceoff. The lane opens up. Corral is there, and Parsons tracks it perfectly. Really comfortable with pucks in the middle of his body. Bodan on the faceoff against Owen McDonald. The puck sat there, and Meyer came in. He got a great scoring chance. Parsons stopped him too. Well, Timo Meyer has had a boatload of chances. A couple of them have missed the net, but this one did not. And again, off the draw, he just swoops in. The puck sitting there on a platter. He could fire. Another face-off win. This time it's Nabu with a chance. And that's wide of the net. Mantel centering it. Bouncing around. Knights have it now. Marner works his way to center. Dumps it in. First man back will be cut off. He had to be careful. Those Knights were back there. Both the ball and Marner. He got the puck out of there. Now the Huskies have it into the night check. Nobody on Waves. Meyer, he's slow to get up. He's tangled up with Crowley. But it's Kachuk who has it in the Huskies here. Marner. Oh, he tried to saucer it across to Kachuk. And Marchand stuck out the glove and caught it. And you know what? That was a great play because we've seen what Kachuk can do with pucks that are raised in the air. He scored London's first goal in that same vein. Mitch Marner picks it up. He says, I know this guy's pretty good with his stick. Maybe I'll get it across to him. And you know what? It would have landed in a picture. Perfect spot if Marchand didn't take that pass away. Huskies win this face off. There's Nicola Broya. He's able to get to center ice. Slaps this one away. Fontaine, he's barreled in there. He's got control for the Huskies. Fontaine back to the corner. Mete trying to stay with him and didn't let him get to the net. Mete gets knocked down. It's Greer behind the goal. Yo Levy knocked it away from him. Now Cliff Poo's trying to contain Greer. Fontaine gets in there too. It's a big line that's fast for Ruan Miranda and strong. Tough to contain. And the Knights had their hands full there. Goes on. He tried to make a pass to get it to one of his teammates, but it was off a glove, and play is stopped. Two minutes, 23 seconds to go on the clock. The Rowan Noranda Huskies and London Knights in the championship game. Knights scored first, but 15 seconds after that, Francis Perron tied it up. And then the Huskies got a lead in the third period, thanks to Julian Mantel, who just took that face off. But the Knights... Tied it thanks to Christian Dvorak. Big players coming through in a big game. And now there's just over two minutes to go. It's tied. Anything now might be good enough for the win. Wake it down in his own zone. Gathers up the puck and heads behind his own net. Lots of room to make a play. Come on. He spots 14. He softly sends it in deep. Wanted Mantel to get there, but Crowley scored. Picking it. He brings it up to the night end. Yankovic pokes it past Caron, gets knocked down. That's picked up by the Huskies now. It's Wicked again. He lost it to Pikinich. 
Nakamovic trying to go wide. Bob Chilbank. Bowie gets knocked down. Still able to make a pass down low to Yakimovic. He's trying to use that big body to get loose. But Caron didn't let him. Fortan will be by himself. Three knights are back. Got it in deep. He's tired. Bowie's behind his own net. Not a lot of time to go in the third period. MasterCard Memorial Cup Championship. There's the Lorax skating well. Gets to the front of the net, but he couldn't pull the trigger. Now we're into the stage where you got to be careful. Maybe if there's a chance, you can end this one. Under a minute to go. Marshan leaves it behind his net. Maru gives it away to the Lorax. Passes in front. to center. Oh, wow. What a chance. Meyer almost got one right back. Meyer tried to center it. Hurrah! He can't shoot. Matthew Kitschak picks him up over his shoulder. Goes the long way so that Meyer can catch up. Knights are on side. Now down to the corner. Goes on. Steps in front of Kitschak. They continue to battle for the puck. It's centered. Marner waits. And that's blocked. Two Huskies diving in front of it. Naboo. And Meyer both got there and didn't let Marner get that shot through. Oh, man. The chance is late. Oh, puck management will drive a coach crazy, but especially at this juncture in the game, Navu just throws it out, couldn't put it on the tape better to Dvorak, and the shot goes off the crossbar by Marner. Look at this. Look at the look he has. Everyone's diving, darting, and they make a good block on that particular occasion. Marner foiled twice. Face off, controlled by the Knights. They're just trying to get this out, and they will, and that will be it. Huskies wow. back off with the puck in 60 minutes. Not enough time to decide who's going to win the 98th MasterCard Memorial Cup. Well, you got to love it. We came into this game and everyone felt that the London Knights were the heavy favorite, but the Ruan Narandoskis have left it all out there, tied at two. Can't wait for OT. Here we go again. Overtime in the championship game of the MasterCard Memorial Cup. The Knights and the Huskies. What a game it's been and what a finish it's going to be. Trying to work it out in front. Here's a chance. Matt Celtic scores! It's over! On his leg, Smith is out in front. Smith, big away, scores! Swings it behind the net in front. Scores! And Tom Zolman, the Shawinigan Cataracts, are champions. Made a play to Carlisle. That gets through the ice. That's a goal. The Oshawa Generals are Memorial Cup champions. Those are the MasterCard Memorial Cup overtime game-winning goals as seen on Sportsnet going back to 1999. And that's what it's all about. The trophy just outside the referee's room, the MasterCard Memorial Cup, the 98th edition of it. RJ and Sam, we know the final score will be 3-2. We just don't know who's going to get the three. It'll be fun to find out, though. One goal. Who's going to get it and win the MasterCard Memorial Cup? Knights have won the championship. That was back in 2005. The Ruan Noranda Huskies are here for the first time in their 20-year history. They won the President Cup QMJHL championship. And now here they are, just a goal away from maybe a bigger prize. Uh, pretty awesome. You look at the Huskies. I mean, the number one ranked team in the CHL, 14 wins to end the regular season. Then they get through some tough competition in Moncton in round three, Shawinigan in five games to win the President Cup. And how about the London Knights? After winning a six-game series against Owen Sound in the opening round, they have yet to lose a hockey game. And against Kitchener, perennial ranked team. Erie, a perennial ranked team in the top ten. And the game Niagara Ice Dogs team in a sweep for the OHL title. Well, these, both of these teams coming in hot in this uh, 
The way it's been played this afternoon, tonight, it's uh, definitely deserved to be here in overtime. And no problem for the Knights in the round robin either. They outscored their opposition 20 to 5, going 3 0. Different story here in the final. Knights haven't lost since April the 1st. Oh, and Miranda Huskies. Number one ranked team. Let's see who wins this one. We're underway in overtime. Braves banks it out to center. Marner's out there to start. Huskies were on the wrong side of the Knights blue line. They're offside early on in overtime. Well, interesting how things got started with the top guys that getting goals. You look at the more Marner, Dvorak, Kachuk line, and then Perron answers on a Meyer assist. That really set the tone for this game because you knew the top guys were going to be engaged, and they've been excellent, as two have been the goalies. Top line of the Knights on the ice now. Antoine Wakeman has been terrific for the Huskies. He was in there trying to make things difficult. The ball back on his backhand. Lifts it up high, gets it into the Huskies' end. Marchand plays it. That's read by Marner. He gets it back to the blue line. Ole Olevi waits. Now he's got time. Snaps a shot. It's loose. It's off the post. Kachuk what a great chance. And the Huskies come right back the other way. That shot is blocked. Getting it right back is 14. Pass it in front of the net. It's loose. Huskies looking for it. Knights are first to it. Graves banks it out. Couple of chances in both ends. Marner's still on the ice. And here he comes. Decides to dump it in. He knew where that puck was going. He's right over there now. Goes on. Shovels it out to center. Knights get it right back in. Here's Alan Caron. Here's Jeremy. L tries the bank pass. Meyer up to Francis Perron. Perron is the MVP in the regular season and the playoffs in the QMJHL. Has a goal in this game. Timo Meyer chases after this one in the corner. Drops it off there and Perron, the captain, leaves it for Bodin. John Christophe Bodin doesn't have a point at the MasterCard Memorial Cup yet. But he was one of the top scorers in the QMJHL. He's playing with an injury. He's out there with two of the best players on the Huskies. Here's Lozar at the blue line. Waits, shoots. That missed. Timo Meyer gets it back in front. This will get to the blue line, but not out. Perron able to keep it in. Now he's trying to get to the middle of the ice. That shot is stopped. The rebound. Parsons, a great save. He won. Timo Meyer. Oh, how about it? Both goalies outstanding here in the extra time. Jacob Graves comes back, but now A.J. Greer is right tight with him. Graves comes out of the corner with a puck. The overage defenseman up to center ice. Nabu backs off. That pass gets Spicer, Cows, and Fontaine. And it's icing. Well, both goaltenders have been excellent. Tyler Parsons for the London Knights, Chase Marchand for the Ruin Miranda Huskies. They're going to kick that left skate just at the last second, goes off the post to Chuck in the blue paint. And then Perron down there, Meyer with a chance, and somehow Parsons in the splits doesn't give way, and we're still tied. Off the face off, Huskies get it out of their end. Sir Cows, quick move. Now it's up the middle to Greer. He's stick handling around, but Gray's not going to win. Sir Cowles gets it behind the London net. And Ole Olevi won that gold medal with Finland at the World Junior Hockey Championship. Olevi had that one get past him. Huskies are tired, so there's some time here for the Knights. Pass up to center ice. Aaron Barisha, the overrages, slaps it in. He had 45 goals in the regular season. Fifth in the OHL in goals. Fancies it behind the net. Here's Max Jones to Barisha. He tried to put it in short side. You can hear it hit the post. Brandon Crawley, he passes across. The Borak was open, but he couldn't take the pass. Jones waits and shoots. That was deflected wide. Mete was flying around down there. Huskies, now it's their turn to be on their heels. But they get it out and might get a chance now. For a long shot. That missed. That will come all the way out in front of the Huskies bench. They have to be careful. They were in the middle of a change. Here's Marner. He shoots. There's a save. It's loose. Another stop by Marche. He stopped Kachuk again. Fortan skating all over the place. Here he comes again. Into the middle of the ice. Fortan from his knees tried a shot. And Graves finally took it away. Graves wants to slow things down a bit. Well, there's no time for that. Huskies right in his face. 
Didn't get the puck out very much. And now it's not out again. Kept in by Bodin. Marner's there. He makes sure he gets it up first. The truck might get another chance. That shot. Came right off the end boards. Marchand was so far out of his net. It actually went between him and the post. But it came out and the Huskies got it up. Right back in. Marner, middle of the ice. Marner's shot. McDonald had it bounce on him. He took a swipe at it. Couldn't make contact. And now it's Francis Perron for the Huskies. It's their turn to try to end this and capture the championship. Timo Meyer picks up the loose puck. Oh, there's a shot, and he got all of it. Parsons did too. Owen McDonald hasn't scored at this MasterCard Memorial Cup. Can't beat around Gabriel Fontaine. Sir Cowles to Fontaine. In over the line. He slapped at it. It was blocked by Mente. Nice. Three of them, but picking it can't come up with the puck, and he put himself offside. Oh, man, Mitch Marner had a golden opportunity at the end of regulation. It went off the crossbar, and he gets another golden opportunity in tight. Takes it in the feet, has it in perfect position, but a great blocker save by Marchand. And then Kachuk gets an opportunity. He's got a little lead time slap shot. He fans on it, and good thing Marchand recovered quickly because he was in position where it could have knocked it back into his own net. Played just over five minutes of overtime. No shortage of chances. Crowley stumbled back to his feet now. Mete has the pack and he gives it to Brandon Crowley, native of New Jersey, up to center ice. They're saying he didn't get to center. It's icing. Boy, it's uh, all about being a team. And sometimes you need a little help off the ice. You see Lozon's about to go over the boards and the puck comes there and they say, no, no, get back here, get back here. <laughs> get back at the bench. And they saved him from the too many men on the ice penalty. And he's all smiles now because he didn't take it. Gutsy effort here for Ruan Miranda. Philip Myers hasn't played since that knee on knee hit with Owen McDonald. And he is a key minute eater and a great defensive piece for the Huskies. This face off won by the Huskies. Nantel snaps a shot. That caught Parsons up high. Rebound doesn't get out. There's Fortin. Boy, he's been skating well. He'll circle the net this time. Looks in front. There's some Huskies there. Knights had them all covered, so he went to the corner. Nantel shot. That stop by Parsons. Graves banks it off the board to himself, but it's not out. Here we are. Back down to Waken. Graves bumps with him. Fortin's behind the net. And he's setting up shot back there. There's a good pass. Nantel put it off the other side of the post. Julian Nantel, the Avalanche prospect, knocked down. Marisha advances the puck, and Max Jones is going to go to work. He's one on two. Brouillard, the veteran defenseman, stayed in front of him all the way, and Jones finally just tried to center it. And back was Fortan. He's still got a little gas in the tank. How about that? He skated a lot on this ship. Middle of the ice, Bouillard's shot. That one's blocked. Now Mete right away looking up. Who's open for the Knights? No, no. That gets past a couple of them. It won't be icing though. Look Here's the speedy Francis Perron. Made a nice move. Now he's got it in the Knights' end. Passed in front to Meyer. And when he tried to shoot, the Knights were there to knock it out of play. Wow, great battle between the number one team in the Canadian Hockey League, the Rouen Naranda Huskies. The London Knights finished third in the final ranking. So you've got one against three. Quebec Major Junior Hockey League against the Ontario Hockey League. An engaged NMAX Centrium with really no team to cheer for. What you'd think would be an impartial group has cheered for excellent hockey and they've been treated to a dynamite game. Face off to the right of Tyler Parsons. Shots nearly even. The score is even. Off the face off, it's Fontaine, takes it to the corner. He has been difficult to take the puck from, but Owen McDonald accomplished it. Banks it off the glass. Now it's a foot race. Lozon's going to have to hurry. Jakimovic was making up some ground. Pekovic leaves it for Yolevi, who just slams it back in the Huskies. Hit. Here's the defensive defenseman of the year in the QMJHL, Alan Perron. Jeremy Lozon, second round pick of the Bruins. Huskies are just wanting to set things up. Bank off the boards, out to center. Greer with that bouncing puck advanced it to Zerkals. Knights broke it up. Standing his ground at center. 
Jeremy Lozon not letting the Knights get past him. And then the puck comes loose. Here's Nicola Bouillard. Saucers it over to the left wing side. Fontaine down to the corner. Joe Levy will be the first man to it. Calmly moves it to Aiden Jameson. Jameson from Lindsay Ontario. There's a pass. It's a good one. Kachuk. Wait, shoots. Slurs. It's over. Good Knights. The Memorial Cup now belongs to the London Knights. team in hockey have won 17 in a row and that's good enough to call themselves master card memorial cup champs what a game far down a fantastic effort and both sides should be extremely happy with the way they played this game their huskies left it all out there did everything they could possibly do for the first time all tournament long forced the london knights into trailing in the game and the knights just Got a persistent effort. Their top guys were their top guys at the end of the day. And Matthew Kachuk, how about that? Isn't that something else? It was a big game. We all knew that. The championship was on the line, and both teams had their best players shine. Matthew Kachuk, he had a lot of chances in overtime and finally buried it. 3-2. Nice win in overtime seven minutes 49 seconds in and here it is well aiden jameson with the great pass to kachuk who comes down the wing now the boost got him in a good spot but it's the curl and drag that opens up the lane and creates a screen for marchand never mind the fact that it is a rocket far down curl drag far down good night it's over what a shot Matthew Kachuk working with the high ankle sprain has been hobbled since the OHL championship. Comes back, takes the pass from Jameson and ends it. The Knights have their second title in their history. Last one back in 2005 and now 2016 is another special season for the Knights organization. Here's Rob Falls. With the man who ended it, Matt Kachuk, tell me about that final shot to give yourself the MasterCard Memorial Cup. Yeah, I actually don't know. I don't know if I was credited with it or not, but it might have hit off uh, Christian Dvorak. But, uh, you know, it's something that, uh, you know, this is probably this is the best part. Of, this is the best feeling I've ever had. Playing you guys never stopped working. From April 1st on, you never lost another game. The work ethic was always there. Yeah, um, you know, it's everybody bought in and, um, you know, everybody, this is, we want to be like the 05 team, you know, not many people talk about, you know, the past couple of Memorial Cups because of how they ended. We wanted to come here and make a splash and, and 17 wins in a row, is it? That, that's, that's as close to, you know, as one of the best junior teams you'll ever find. Enjoy this. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks, Rob. Sam, RJ. It's a great point by Matthew Kachuk. 17 straight wins. Haven't lost since April 1st. And those goal scorers sometimes are pretty good at knowing who got this one. Let's take another look if Dvorak did get a stick on it. He might have got the shaft on it. And based on the reaction from Marchand, you'd have to think that it did move on the way in. Watch Chase Marchand. He looks like he's going to smother this thing, and it ends up off the bar and down and into the net. In any case, it's the top guys who end up getting it done for the London Knights. Well, if it is Dvorak's goal, he ties the MasterCard Memorial Cup goals record with his eighth. And that ties some pretty good players. Dale Howard, Chuck, Luke Robitaille, Pat Falloon. There's Cliff Poo. He's all smiles. One of the comedians on the team. Knows when to be serious, but likes to keep things loose. What a game this was. Really the matchup that if you looked at it even earlier in the season you'd say boy these two teams if they ever met in a championship game what a great contest it would be and oh, was it ever 
And then the tournament started and the London Knights started to run away with it. Three wins in the round robin, including a 9-1 drubbing of the Brandon Wheat Kings who came in as WHL champs. And everyone thought, oh, wait, there's just no way that this London Knights team could be beat. And the Rouen Miranda Huskies got a win in their first game. Built, went through some disciplinary issues in terms of guys heading to the penalty box too much. They had an up and down performance from Chase Marchand. And then it came to a culmination in today's game. Their best game of the tournament. You could not have asked for anything more out of this Rouen Miranda Huskies team. Dale Hunter always so calm and cool with the Knights. Knew he had a good team. You never know in those championship games. How about that? There's two great players. Another two it was Meyer and Perrault all hugging Mitch Marner. What a battle of Ontario may be brewing in the future there with Perrault and Ottawa pick. Mitch Marner, a Toronto pick. London Knights continue to celebrate their second MasterCard Memorial Cup championship, first since 2005. And it is really an amazing run. 17 straight wins. Huskies number one ranked team in the Canadian Hockey League. And they showed that that ranking was legit. A post either way, a bounce either way, and they could be the ones celebrating. Well, and the overtime was fantastic. Both teams trading chances, excellent saves by the goaltenders, and really a shot that could not be stopped to end it. If you want an end in an overtime and you want a good goal to do it, that's exactly how it played out. What a fantastic goal, Marchand. It was in perfect position, but the combination of Kachuk and Dvorak just could not be beat. Huskies look on as the London Knights celebrate. Let's check in with Rob again. Well, Mitch Marner is joining me, but he's giving a big hug to Jake Graves, the overager. What an emotional ride this has been. Yeah, for sure. It's been a great year. I've never had more fun with a group of guys, and, you know, to get rewarded like this, it feels amazing. This team gave you everything it had. It had to go to overtime to be determined. Yeah, for sure. You know, we were down 2 1 late in the third, and the best thing about this team, we never give up. And it shows again tonight. And, you know, this guy right here, he's been amazing all year long for us. And, you know, it's going to be a, it's, it's, it's gonna be a great night. We're, we're, we're so lucky, and, you know, feel so blessed with those two. Congratulations. Thank you. Great ovation for the Huskies. They raised their sticks to the crowd, and they became fan favorites here in Red Deer. There was a lot of support for them in this championship game. They played their hearts out. What an effort it was. Not many people gave the Huskies a chance, even though they came in as the number one team. And they got down one nothing, just as everyone else did to the London Knights in this tournament. But 15 seconds later, they tied it. We were back to square one, and it's set up for a humdinger of a game. The London Knights just don't lose. They found a way. And they come up victorious. And they win the MasterCard Memorial Cup. A 17th straight victory. This one was a lot tougher than a lot of them. They had to go to overtime to do it. But the big guys got it done when it mattered. Dvorak and Kachuk. There's Marner. Another point for him. And they celebrate their championship. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Milos Vranesevic from MasterCard to present the Stafford Smythe MVP Trophy. Mesdames et messieurs, accueillons ensemble Milos Vranesevic de MasterCard pour la présentation du trophée Stafford Smythe remis au joueur le plus utile. On behalf of MasterCard Canada, I'd like to recognize and say thank you to the city of Red Deer, to the Red Deer Rebels. I'd like to say thank you to the Red Deer Rebels, the organizing committee, and all the volunteers that made this an outstanding 2016 MasterCard Memorial Cup. I'd also like to recognize our four teams from across the Western Ontario and Quebec Major Junior Hockey Leagues for their tremendous seasons and their competition this week. And last but not least, I'd like to congratulate our 2016 champions of the MasterCard Memorial Cup, the London Knights.
the winner of the Stafford Smythe Most Valuable Player Trophy. Le gagnant du trophée Stafford Smythe, remis au joueur le plus utile. Mitch Marner from the London Knights. for Mitch Marner, MVP in the regular season in the OHL, the playoffs, and he does it again here at the MasterCard Memorial Cup. If you look at his points per game, they went up from the regular season to the playoffs and even better here at the MasterCard Memorial Cup. Fans, please welcome Canadian Hockey League President David Branch to present the Memorial Cup. Chers partisans, que ensemble le président de la Ligue canadienne de hockey, David Branch, afin de présenter la Coupe Memorial. Mesdames et Messieurs, au nom de la Ligue canadienne de hockey, merci aux fans de Red Deer. On behalf of Commissioners Ron Robinson of the Western Hockey League and Gilles Corto of the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League, I would really like to acknowledge what an outstanding week we've had in Red Deer. Thank you to all of you. The week, the week of course was punctuated by great hockey and I'll tell you one more time, let's acknowledge the exploits here of the Rouen Noranda Husky. I must as well acknowledge the outstanding support from the province of Alberta, uh, Sport Minister or Sport uh, Culture and Tourism, Ricardo Miranda, to the Mayor of Red Deer, Tara Veer. to Merrick Sutter, Ron Riviere, the host organizing committee, and the hundreds of volunteers. You made it happen. Thank you very, very much. It is now my honor and privilege to present for the second time the MasterCard Memorial Cup to the London Knights. And let me firstly let me firstly say that this is being presented to a very special group, starting with the family patriot Dick Hunter. As well, Mark, Dale, Basil, McRae, Trevor Weffin, all the support staff, and especially to the players and your parents. Just an outstanding season, and what a great, great show you put forward today. Thank you, Trevor. And as well, it's about time that I bring forward the captains, co-captains, Christian Dvorak and Mitchell Marner.
He came in and really solidified things. And now the overagers are all going to get a chance with a cup. Jacob Graves, how about that acquisition? Turned out to be huge. They worked for hours and hours going through tape. Who would be that defenseman, that veteran guy, that grizzled guy that had helped us to this point? Graves was that guy. Yeah, there's Aaron Barisha. They found him. Got the bushy beard, the native of Toronto. Great season for Barisha. You could say that for all the Knights. 45 goals. That secondary scoring came in so handy. There's Owen McDonald. He's been a member of the Knights since he was 16 years old. Knights pass it around. Let's check in with Rob again. With the coach of the MasterCard Memorial Cup champion, London Knights, for the second time. We talked about similarities between 05 and this one. You said you had a big front line, you had good mobile defense, you had a good goaltender, but this has been a special group, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. You know, we we, we didn't know what started of the year. We're up to full start, and we just kept on juggling as a team, and we added a couple pieces. And uh, the kids play together, they like each other. And uh, they want to win for each other and not for individual. So, got to give credit, a lot of credit to the kids. They play together. When you win 17, is it 17 in a row in the playoffs? And, and this kind of the best teams in, in the whole country, that's pretty special. It's been a remarkable run, but you got into a remarkable game with uh, a terrific team today. Right, definitely. You know, they're, they're high end speed, high end talent. That's why the fans got, they got their, their hockey's worth tonight because that, that was a fast game out there, and there's a lot of kids who are going to go on and move on to greater things. Well, I'm going to like to go back to watching your team. Thank you. Congratulations. Okay, thanks, Rob. Thanks very much. You know, David Branch talked a lot about families and how these are family moments. Right now, that game-winning goal is still being credited to Matthew Kachuk. He'll be drafted this year in the first round, probably high. His father, former NHLer Keith Kachuk. Also about families, also about billets and billet moms. Matthew Kachuk lost his billet mom, Susan Marzolotti. She passed away at the beginning of the playoffs. He's been playing with a heavy heart, but it's all celebrations right now for Matthew Kachuk and the London Knights. Colby, you know what that feels like. Yeah, that's a pretty darn good feeling. It's nice to see these guys. He's, you know, this London team came in. They're the class of, of uh, the tournament this week. Uh, the one thing I noticed with what they what they did this was the execution, the way they played as a group, tic tac toe. When they needed goals, they were there. But man, they just executed every single game. And we saw some great games out of these guys. The skill level was crazy. I thought Barisha was excellent. He was a spark plug tonight. The OA. I thought Jones showed his speed. Dvorak looking to say Cliff Poo, lots of contribution. Victor Mete had a heck of a game as well. Nice to see Mitch Marner hand the trophy off to Burke, Barisha, and Graves in order of the overages for the team. And from a run, Randa point of view, you really had that feeling they needed to ride that 2-1 lead. To, once they lost that, they lost anything. And the loss of Philip Myers, their big defenseman, sure. partway through the game, ends up making a huge difference. Yeah. That's who Kachuk might have been coming down on, different player coming down on. That was a big loss for Randa during that, the game. That was enormous as well. Yeah. Tyler Parsons, netminder for the London Knights, was outstanding all tournament long. He's standing by with Rob Fall. Tyler Parsons is a very happy man right now. Your team played well in front of you, but for the longest time, this was a battle of goaltenders. Oh, it was a great game. You know, uh, the Huskies goalie, I can't really pronounce his name, but uh, uh, props to him. He, uh, he played an amazing game. Uh, he kept him in the game, and, uh, you know, being, being, down, being down a goal in the third there, uh, you know, we had to do, you know, just battle and uh, give it our all. And, uh, you know, we, we got that goal, and... Uh, Went in the dressing room and uh, came out. We knew we just always had a feeling that we were going to win this game and uh, the connection that we have. We're brothers here and uh, this an unbelievable experience. I, I can't even explain it. It's been a remarkable run since April 1st. You have not lost a game. When during the season did you guys feel you had something special? Uh, you know, once we started winning all those games, we uh, you know we got into the playoffs and we're beating teams like Kitchener and Erie and Niagara and. Uh, Owen Sound, who gave us one of our toughest runs in the first round. Uh, uh, just winning 17 straight games, uh, it's unbelievable. I can't even describe it. I don't think it's ever been done before. Put on a great show. Congratulations. Thank you. RJ, a lot of that. Don't have the words for it. Proud father, Keith Kachak, taking a little bit of video. And it's a good point Tyler Parsons raises. 17 game winning streak certainly not through the playoffs in the MasterCard Memorial Cup to go on a roll that long against 
the top, toughest competition you could possibly have. Yeah, not cheap. I mean, let's run down the list here. Kitchener finished uh, eighth in the top ten. You look at the Erie Otters. They finished second. Ruan Miranda, first. And then the Brandon Weekings, whom they beat in the round robin, finished seventh. They knocked off four top ten teams in the midst of this 17-game win streak. So it's been uh, quite a roll. It's been something that will compare favorably to what happened with the London Knights in 2005. And this is what they all live for right here, that photo. That is the special one. They'll all keep it. The smiles of the London Knights posing with the MasterCard Memorial Cup. The 2016 champions. Look at those smiles on the young men. A special team, and this was a special game. Went to overtime, 3-2. There's the guy who has the game winner, Matthew Kitchak. 30 goals over 100 points in his first OHL season, so he fit right in. No problems uh, adjusting to the Canadian Hockey League and scores the biggest goal of the year. Here's Rock With Cliff Boo. You were an Oshawa general. You get traded to London. Oshawa wins the MasterCard Memorial Cup. Yeah. But now you're a big part of this team, and you're a champion. Uh, you know, props to Oshawa last year. You know, my old team, a lot of old buddies on that team, and, you know, they won last year. And, uh, you know, obviously that trade worked out for them, and uh, hopefully it kind of worked out this year for us. Well, tell me about your development. This one slowly but surely, you moved your way up, and uh, here you were, second line, really supplying and providing everything. Yeah, I think uh, Dale's a uh, pretty pretty good coach as everyone knows and uh, you know he rewarded me when I was playing well so uh, I played second line for the mostly the, mostly the whole year so you know it doesn't get better than that and uh, you know I'm just I'm just so happy right now that we, we won the Memorial Cup and this game was remarkable back and forth the energy was outstanding oh yeah I, I was I was on my toes the whole game you know it's it pretty nerve-wracking being down 2-1 but you know I think uh, I think our uh, our captain Dvorak uh, he's a pretty special player you know and he came he came in uh, to play today and uh, you know, he scored that, and uh, Chucky, oh, I, I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> Enjoy this. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cliff Poo, one of the very happy London Knights. RJ? <laughs> Brings up another good point. It was actually the first time in about three weeks that London even trailed in a game, but they showed that heart and determination of a champion to come back, eventually win it in overtime to capture the MasterCard Memorial Cup. And when you look back at this game, what stands out to you? The fans. It, it was really just a, a great hockey game, and the fans here had no rooting interest for their home team, for even their home league. But they filled the building, and they were excited every time something good happened for either side. And that's really what this game is all about, thinking about the great players out there, all these young guys giving, they're all playing for a title, a once-in-a-lifetime thing. And the fans really made it special when, in some circumstances it might not have been that way so I was really appreciative of that and they got treated to a wonderful game it was a great relationship between the fans and all the excellent players in the ice it was such a, an interesting dynamic every time the Knights played because the talk was could you shut down the top line that was the key every team came in trying to do it no team was able to do it and again they produce especially when they needed to in the championship game well it turned out to be an excellent matchup between that top line you look at Matthew Kachuk and Christian Dvorak and Mitch Marner a line that just destroyed teams throughout the playoffs throughout the regular season and here in the early going of this tournament going up against the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League goalie of the year Chase Marchand set four different records with a shutout streak the number of shutouts goals against save percentage and he got off to a bit of a rocky start in this tournament but there was nothing not to like about his game he was excellent and the shot that beat him was a shot that would have beat most NHL goaltenders, whether it was tipped by Dvorak or not. There weren't many guys stopping that opportunity. When we look back at the 2016 MasterCard Memorial Cup Championship, we're going to look at one of the top teams ever in junior hockey. A 17-game winning streak right to the very end until they won the prize. Jeff. RJ, just look at the visuals right there of uh, awesome. Keith Kachuk, his son Matthew Kachuk. You know, there's a second generation hockey player right there. And previous to that, Rob Falls talking to Cliff Poo. That's a fascinating story as well. Yeah. His father coming over from China to Ottawa, does a degree, sends for his wife. They come over, they have a son, they start hockey. Unlike the Kachuks, 
from zero, both Master Card Memorial Cup champions right now. Colby, what's going to stand out in your mind? Yeah, you know what's going to stand out for me is, you know what Sam pretty much talked about, just the quality of hockey that we saw, especially in today's game. And, you know, you talk about the fans and the back and forth action. I was sitting here with you guys watching that overtime. I was going, man, I think the Huskies are going to win this game. They were really <laughs> pouring it on. A team that came into their own as the tournament went on, game after game. But uh, incredible hockey. What a finish. And uh, tell you what, there's no better feeling. These kids are going to hang on to this the rest of their lives. Well, you know it, Colby. And you got to tip your hat to the Knights to, to close it out in the fashion that they did. And But I'm going to talk about Ruan and, and Gilles Bouchard specifically, a guy who won us over this week and yeah. who trusted his team when they went through some adversity and stuck by his veterans, stuck by his goaltender. And, and they could easily have won this game tonight. And, not, you know, don't hang your head. This, you know, it's going to hurt, but no reason to feel upset about the way you played tonight. You could easily have won that game and feel proud of your experience. You came a long way in a short period of time. So this was London's fourth visit to the MasterCard Memorial Cup tournament in five years. They were four Crazy. minutes and 11 seconds yeah. away from losing again. Right. And how would the narrative yeah. change? Instead, they end up winning. You see all the pictures of Keith Kachuk and his son, Matthew. And I got to say, I'm a little sad. Yeah. We're not going to see <laughs> that line again. That's right. Matthew <laughs> Kachuk, Christian Dvorak, Mitch Marner. My goodness, what a line in an era where we don't see forward lines stick together for very long. We got to watch those guys play for an entire season. A lot of times on Friday night hockey, and they just put on a show every single night, and they did it again at the Memorial Cup. And I think what we just witnessed right there was one of the finest MasterCard Memorial Cup finals we have ever seen. That one was outstanding. As we bid you good evening here from Red Deer, a number of people to thank. First of all, we'd like to thank the city of Red Deer fans packing this this building, the NMAX Centrum. 7,000 fans a night. The guys were talking about it. The championship game was a team from the Ontario Hockey League and the QMJHL, and this building was was packed. We thank all the fans in Red Deer. Want to thank the Sutter family as well. Brent Sutter, Connie Sutter, the organizing committee led by Merrick Sutter. An outstanding job. We'd like to thank all of our sponsors that made this possible. I'd like to thank everyone here that I shared a panel with. RJ, Sam, Rob as well. Our technical crew, our production crew, and our producer, Jeff Girdat. Thanks so much for making the past couple of weeks a lot of fun here in Red Deer and making this one of the best MasterCard Memorial Cups that we've ever seen. Good night from Red Deer. There's an electricity around the MasterCard Memorial Cup. With the event returning to Alberta for the first time in 42 years, Red Deer was ready to celebrate. The fans. The atmosphere. The energy of the players is everywhere you look. Fans make the annual pilgrimage even if they don't have a team to root for. This event draws them in from every corner. And the games don't disappoint. Teams go about their business, but when the puck drops, these young men went hard every shift because every game means something. The hits rattle the boards. The saves are spectacular. What a save that was! That was marvelous! It's stopped by Chase Marchand! And the goals. is charged with emotion. The players and coaches realize how close they were to a goal few will ever have in their career. And when it happens, there's a pass, it's a good one. Good catch. Wait, shoots, scores! It's over! Good night!